17. Yep. 17. Easy enough. You ask around. You see a few folks that seem to be locals, or at least uh, often uh, find their way through this district, and they lead you over towards a large building of stained wood and uh, green gold velvet hanging on the outside. And the first thought is, that velvet's going to get ruined in this rain. And as you approach the exterior of it, uh, the building is untouched. It is dry. Oh. Uh, yeah. And you do glance up and you can see uh, carved delicately into a wood placard above the doors, which are currently closed, but little slips of glass in each door reveal kind of a warm lit interior that's glowing from the inside out. It says, the invulnerable vagrant. Oh. Uh, <clears throat> uh, Caleb. Yeah. Like this is gonna be where you're gonna stock up on your incense and some other guys. Uh, yes, 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 yes. I, I, I won't be long, excuse me. Then I just push in. Okay. I'm gonna find mold wine. <laughs> it's okay. cold and I wanna be- I'll cold. join in that. I wanna try to sell the, the glave here if it's magic, mm -hmm. if they sell magical weapons at this place. Okay, so who's entering the- uh, I'll go into. I'll right. wait back. I'll go in as well. You guys stay. We'll wash the cart, and we're gonna. Okay. We're gonna take the cart to find some mulled wine. Yeah, we're gonna. Okay. Grab it. Never remember the name. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. So as you enter the interior of the building, it's warm. It's very warm, and it's kind of a, a nice change of pace. You immediately kind of throw your cloak back as your the temperature shift causes you, everyone but you actually. You're pretty comfortable in the cold. Um, uh, to just immediately kind of throw your heavy layers back and. On the, the immediate entry, you can see there's lanterns all throughout the chamber that are uh, hanging up above, flickering candlelight, but they all flicker like there's wind when there's none. You also notice that all of them are just kind of floating. They're little, little glass chambers that contain the candle, and they're all just kind of slowly gyrating, held in place. Inside the chamber, you can see what looks to be a long table that has a few small books laid out um, on a, a, a velvet uh, kind of raised platform. It looks to be a long blade, like a rapier of some kind, but looks jeweled and gorgeous. Uh, on the back, there appears to be a shelf of books and books and books with a, a, a desk. And you see what appear to be three figures, two of which are facing away uh, behind the, uh, the, the desk, and then the one that's closest to you who turns around to make your appearance. You see a large, seven-foot-tall humanoid figure. Um, short, kind of uh, bushy, curly brown hair that kind of kind of froze up a little bit around. The body is very, very fine, grayish-brown fur, and their nose is wide, almost like a, uh, I want to say a, a, a cow or a bull's nose across a human face. Um, the chin's a bit square, and the, uh, the, the, the physicality is kind of hunched, and there's just a big smile on the face. Um, yes. I'm sorry, I, uh, uh, yes, I, I, <clears throat> I have not been in, a, a, in this big city in a while. Make a nature check. Yeah. 20. You have not encountered this folk before in your travels. Um, it's rare to see them ingrained in society this close, but but furbolgs. Furbolgs? Yeah, furbolgs. Yeah, they are, they are uh, usually a more nature-based, kind of free-spirited people that live more towards the mountains of the northern forests and the graying wildlands and beyond. To see one here in society catches you off guard, let alone one that's dressed so well, as you can see these, these long, elegant robes of deep green and gold and this big smile on his face as he spins around. Yes, uh, I'm happy to help you. <laughs> DM, sorry, DM, yes. before I engage in this. You said I've never encountered these, but uh, I've read a lot, so I yeah, know Yeah, you know them. of them. I know yeah. of them, this is my first encounter. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, dive in. Yeah, hello. Uh, wow, look at those horns. I, I'm so sorry, you know, I have never, forget it. Ah, uh, I am looking for, I, I've been in the, in the woods for so long, I'm so happy to be in a metropolis again. I, I need um, ink. Before okay. we can get to that, I just have to say you're respectfully terribly filthy. 
<laughs> and this is an establishment that I have to insist requires some more cleanliness. And as he kind of waves his hand in front of you, you watch as all the dirt on your coat just begins to sift away. You watch as your clothing just becomes cleaned right up the front of you, reaching up towards your neck, and you watch as the dirt begins to kind of fleck away across your face. I'm tilting, I'm, I'm arching my face. <laughs> as, as you fight it, a moment passes and you see before you, the first time since you've met, a sparkly clean Caleb. Whoa. Caleb, what have you done to him? What have you done? Oh, you're just wow. you're just an excitable little friend there, aren't you? This giant hand goes out and kind of pats you on the head. It's gentle. I don't see. I have no idea. I have Caleb, no idea. Yeah. At, you're beautiful. At this point, the two other figures in the back turn around, and it's the same guy. What? what? There's two more no. of the same furball, no, same what? outfit, same exact visual, and they both go, "Hi." I. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, this is a little uh, off-putting, but I it's okay. I am multiplicity. Well, that's just that's just impressive. <laughs> You're impressive. <laughs> <laughs> and he reaches out and kind of puts his hand out to shake your hand. What's your name? Chester. And what's your name? Oh, that's Chester number two. It goes through. I know, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> oh, that's an illusion. Yeah. Okay. Uh, hi, I'm Enchanter Pumat Soul. Pumat Soul. And this, and he goes, I am also Enchanter Pumat Soul. And, uh, and the guy, the third one goes, I myself am also Enchanter Pumat Soul. So first question that I have for you, uh, Pumat's... Uh, the fourth Enchan one's in the back. Pumat Soul, is, uh, are you all, is there one of you and this is, this is fun and games, or you are... There's, there's, there's the prime Pumat Soul, and well, the three of us are uh, what you would call Holy shit. magically manifested duplicates to aid in his work. Understood. Understood. Well, I only came here for business, so. Well, welcome to the establishment. The invulnerable <laughs> vagrant greets all of you humbly. I'm finding it very oh. hard to concentrate at the moment, but I know that I need paper and I need the most expensive ink you have. Oh, we have both of those things. Come with me. Okay. <laughs> he turns around, and you can see now, like, he has, as he turns around, his head is about to smack into one of these candles, and he just Knowing where it is, he's been so practiced, he just ducks under it and continues walking towards the back. He needs uh, when I was like, oh, I heard him. <laughs> and he turns around and takes down a couple of ink wells and sets them in front. And the other one is pulling out like stacks of paper and parchment and they're stacking them up and they set them there. All right, so uh, how much you need of how much of each? I, uh, you know... Uh, this guy's our new Gilmore, you guys. <laughs> I am not seducing this, this person. You say this now. <laughs> Touche. Oh, Five hundred hours later, we're me. fighting gods with him. Hey, Bill, yeah. I need uh, your most uh, fine arcane Ink, and I also need your finest paper. I need about 150 gold worth of materials. Is that too much to ask? No, that, that's a comparably, respectfully, a paltry sum. <laughs> so we can get that paper to you, and when you say ink, I have to specify, do you yes. want ink that's used in the ritualistic design and presentation of arcane symbols, scribes, and glyphs, or are you looking for ink that itself was actually enchanted for various uses of manifestation? Uh, no, and I pulled two uh, scrolls out of, of my uh, pack. I have the, uh, these, I found them in my journeys, and I need, I want to make them a part of my repertoire. Oh, that's some wizard stuff. Okay, we can do that. <laughs> <laughs> he goes ahead and they muster the paper and the ink that'll, that'll easily be utilized for scribing. Man, 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 I love you so much. Wow. Oh my gosh. Oh. 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 So 
why we're not really outside. We're only out. Oh. We're only physically outside, <laughs> but we get to be at the table, and it's so nice. Yeah, we get to be out. Yeah. Yeah. Ginger Puma Soul, do you have uh, um, any health potions that we might be able to acquire from you? We have a few in stock, actually. You want? It's like I'm already on it. <laughs> And then he turns around and pulls out what looks to be a large, like, eight vial collecting case that he sets on the table. That's one there. And uh, there's another. We've got a variety of uh, vials at your disposal, so let us know what you're looking for. Uh, how much would a, a greater healing potion run me? Uh, that, uh, let's see here. That would put you back about 200 gold pieces for a single vial. Uh, how about one of the more, your basic healing potions? A general healing general, potion. Yeah. That'll put you at a simple 50 gold pieces. Uh, I'll take one of those. It would be my pleasure. Mr. Oh, Green Man. I, I think What's I, your I, name, I by the way? Uh, Ford. Ford, pleasure to meet nice you. Nice to meet you, yeah. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to disrespect your invitation there. No. What's your name? I, I'm not, I'm just not. Hi, nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, you now. You're large. You're small. <laughs> Can I have one? Well, you know, I... I'll have t two of those potions, if you don't mind. Of course. Is there that a discount you. for two? Make a perception or a persuasion check. That would be zero. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, but this is a business. No discounts, but we're happy to sell for the price of 50 gold a piece. All right, I'll take two. All right, thank you very much. Enchanter per month, per yeah. month, soul. Pumat soul. Pumat soul. Pumat. Pumat soul. Sounds like Pumat um, soul. Pumat yeah, soul. soul. <laughs> <laughs> it, feels, it feels very meta. Yeah. You guys yeah. um, deal in magical weapons here? We deal with all sorts of enchanted items. As he turns to the other guys over there, goes, I've got it. We have all manner of objects that we've crafted, enchanted, and designed. Would you like to buy this? Oh, are you looking to sell or trade? That's a... That's oh, a, well, it depends on how much you want to pay for it. Well, let's go ahead and clear off. And he takes the, the vials off the counter and they set a space and the three of them kind of sit around. And you hear this voice in the back behind what looks to be the stick curtain go, Is anybody able to help me here for a minute? <laughs> right there. The two of you continued this. And one of them goes in the back room to help the fourth one. Um, Does the fourth one look just like you? There's a fourth? Yeah, there's four. Four? I thought there was three. The yeah. fourth one that's, is the prime that's one. That's Pumat Prime. He's, uh, he's the real guy. Whoa. But, uh, but anyway, uh, let's have a look at this. And you put on the glaive, you said? Oh, this isn't, this isn't too bad. Uh, can you hand me the, the item card? Item card. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Flesh render. Meanwhile, I take uh, every gold piece I have in a little sack plus 20 silver, which is exactly 150, and I am out of wow. money. And with that, they happily pass over to you your purchased parchment and ink. <sighs> How much is that glaive worth? Oh, good God. This is, uh, it's pretty well made for being such a ghastly looking design. I think no. it could easily use, like, some fine. Gold gilding, maybe some extra polishing, put some ribbons on it, and this thing would be a great ceremonial piece. The manicor spines, I think, are a little garish, personally, but uh, if you're looking to sell, we could give this to you for about 300 gold, but Inside if... check. Go for it. Uh, that is a 17. 17? Oh, what do you mean, To see if he's, like, trying to deal. I look at the paper, motherfucker. I feel like this guy's a, a oh. good guy. Oh, shit. What? You, you just died. Nothing. Yeah, I have to make a new character, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Caleb? I think that he's just dealing with used items. I don't know what that means. You could work him for a little bit, not a lot. What Mind if... if if we're doing it for trade, prices can be a little more in your favor. But understand, I'm a business for profit. Well, you said it needs a little decoration, and I take the ribbon off my horn, and I wrap it around the handle, and I tie it on. 
What about now? That's adorable. <laughs> and I'm not gonna lie, I like it better. <laughs> 302 gold. <laughs> but for trade, I'll probably be able to muster a little more. What are you looking for? Well, um, this is my favorite. I mean, we are kind of looking for something that can hold a lot of donuts in it and also maybe some other things that are heavy. Let me have a look here and see what we can muster. Yes. We're looking for, for something that could, uh, you travel in type. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. That's all we do is travel, all of us. Like a briefcase of carrying. <laughs> a briefcase of carrying. A, a backpack a of, of... A short <laughs> case a of... Portage. Of clutch of objects. A handbag of endless bottom. A cheat code, <laughs> if you will. Yeah. I'll tell you what. Game if game you game. give me... Wow. This here uh, majestic weapon, with the ribbon included, and an additional 200 gold pieces on top of that trade, well, I can just go ahead, and the other guy who's wandered away goes, we can take this here uh, fantastic haversack off the wall and make it yours. Fantastic haversack. A bag of what? holding? What? Let me show you. It, let me show you. And he sets it down, and it's it's this kind of like this. He's beating us on our own game. It's, no. a, it's, a, it's a backpack with a bunch of various pouches and things that are latched onto it. And he uh, uh, there's <clears throat> there's two side pouches on it beyond the big central one. Um, he opens it up and takes the glaive and watch this, and it just kind of shoop, disappears into it. He reaches in, pulls the glaive out. <gasps> Whoa! Maria Poppins. That, That's that pretty cool. That looks like the thing that we need. I mean, it, it sticks in there. Uh, yeah, the big central pouch. She goes. The side ones don't carry as much, but the central side of it does manage to carry about eight cubic feet of material and a extra dimensional space to call it whenever you require it. Two cubic feet for both of the side pouches. I enchanted it. Well, he enchanted it. We sell it. <laughs> Could you, if we make this deal, does it come with a like a regular healing potion inside of it, maybe? Make a persuasion check. Oh boy. Regular potion, regular potion. Come on, Ma. I mean, that's kind, that's cocked a little bit. It right? is a little cocked, no, but barely fine. cocked. Nope. Ten. <laughs> Ten. I appreciate your gusto. <laughs> And uh, were perhaps we had more of a business relationship together, I would consider such a deal. But as this is the first real transaction and time in which we have encountered you and your band of once filthy travelers, I'm going to have to decline. Jester, what what wand of smiles. What about the fall of the wand, too? Well, I really like it. It's, it's a good it wand. Just, it's it's a good stick. It is a real good <clears throat> stick. I'm going to keep it. You might need a good laugh. I can think of uses for that thing. I'm not here. God damn it. Yeah, oh. I, uh, we're, we're getting a We hot need body. that sack. Chester. All right, all right. Hold Jester, on. Jester. I'm trying to remember. What is what? Shits and giggles or utility is the question here. Well, utility here. I'm buying this sack we for need all sack of us. We to keep here. our stuff in it. Will you have enough gold to cover it? Of course. Oh. As and don't work. worry. Once my mom sends me my care package, we'll have thousands upon thousands of gold. No. So is that a deal? 200 gold for this beautiful bag, but I feel like it could be a little prettier. Is there anything you can do to make it prettier for us? Give me just a moment. Yes. He turns around yes, and disappears yes. behind the, the curtain and you hear some talking, some <laughs> And an, another one emerges from behind the curtain who has like this, leather band on his head with this large magnifying type tool hanging in front of him with this big smile on his face. <laughs> it looks like he has these, these thick leather gloves that have a bunch of runes on them. And he goes, I'm sorry I was summoned to make something prettier. I really like just, you know, pretty. I'm going to be carrying it. I like, I like it too much. What's your favorite color? Pink. Yep, turn ah. symbol. 
And he finishes and he watches the haversack suddenly just shimmers past, and the dull, general brown leather turns to a bright, vibrant pink. Oh, it's beautiful! Do you want to go? Here you go. He hand it to the one guy who accepts it. All right, good, I hope you enjoy it. I'm going to get back to work. Keep it up, me. And he goes from the back room. <laughs> He takes the glaive off. The other guy says, "All right, thank you very much. Any other business you require?" No. Oh, well, you need some pastries, but that we. Oh, we'll somewhere go somewhere else, else, somewhere else for that. that. I doubt you guys sell pastries. No, there's plenty of vendors. They're all they're raining outside, and so wait, well, probably hard to find pastries tonight. But fresh in the morning, just let your nose carry you around. Pet a market has plenty. I'll take one, one of the extra of those uh, potions. It's such a good deal. Here's another 50 gold. It would be my pleasure. Thanks. Um, do you know if the, the blacksmith, the, um, if the, um, where did I write it? It disappeared. This where the spark, pa- hammer? the spark hammer smithing would still be open right now, or are they going to be closed? They're probably still working. Oh, you can okay. maybe convince them to take a, take a conversation. Okie dokie. Thank you so much. No worries, just listen for the clanging in the sparks. Okay. <laughs> all right, well, if that's all, I wish you all do come back anytime. We're happy to sell by trade and generally help out anyone who has money. Man, I want to learn that trick real bad. Which trick? The one where oh, you make, like, five? no, where you make real versions of yourself that you get to hang out with. Ah. Thank you for your time. It's my <laughs> pleasure. So, as you guys, you guys making your way to the uh, the Penta Market? Respectfully, yeah. yes. we are. Okay. So, Vulnerable it's still face. early morning, uh, relatively. You make your way to the interior, the warm, welcoming interior of the Invulnerable Vagrant. Uh, there are no other patrons in there. You do see across the way um, one Pumat soul is sitting behind the counter, it looks like with knitting needles. And there's one off at the side in a, in, a, uh, in a chair that's currently reading through a book with like the small set of glasses and the tip of his wide nose. Yes. And they both look up and go, yes, yes, yes. Why, hello there. That's just a real nice thing to see you this early in the morning. I uh, just just about to finish my breakfast snack, so you, you got me at a good time. The yeah, no. fuck? Right. Oh, are you open all the time? This is normal. It's okay. <laughs> Not all the time. We generally uh, do a cycle of uh, sunrise to about four hours past sunset. That's our general scheme that we uh, maintain business. Puma, we'd like to introduce you to uh, one of our friends. This is Bo. So- Bo. Well, uh, the pleasure is uh, respectfully mine. <laughs> it reaches out. Giant hand kind of encompasses your entire ah. face. And- a little clammy. He puts the book down, takes his glasses off. Yeah. So, uh, uh, what can I do for you? Uh, oh, well, my mom's birthday is coming up, and she really likes boxes that have... Do you have a lead-lined box? <laughs> uh, we've got quite a few. They're currently uh, containing items that require uh, shielding, so... Uh, oh, good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, can we get one of those? Uh, that, that can probably be done. How how big a box you're looking? We got them right around that there, and then we got a bigger one about that there, yeah. and we got uh, one in the back that's a, oh, that's a biggie. Probably the grande, <laughs> the middle. You are, it was like the same thing. It's like, yeah. Yeah, All right, yeah, let me go ahead and. Uh, what, what, uh, Mr. Pumat, what yeah. is it What is it made of? Yeah. What does it do? Yeah. 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 What, what the uh, nice lady there is requesting is a, a box that is lined with a material known <laughs> as uh, Lead. I've heard of the material, but does it have any other magical properties or any no other? No magical thing? properties. It's just really useful for, uh, well, poisoning yourself if you put food storage in there, uh, poisoning other people if you store their food in it, um, and uh, keeping at bay the prying eyes of uh, distant uh, divination magics. Okay. I think we're probably going to need a couple of healing potions as well, just oh, to yeah, like yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Not a problem. I'm going to window shop then. Thank you. Yeah, Puma, okay. uh, we came into a little, uh, little extra coin recently, and you know this is our favorite place to spend. You don't, ha- <laughs> you don't happen to have any, um, I don't know, any articles of protection, do you? A necklace, a bracelet, a ring. A- well, we, uh, 
You got this here cloak here on the wall. I think you've already taken a look at it. That's a pretty protective... Uh, it was expensive, right? It was expensive. The other one who's knitting is like, yeah, it's, uh, it's a pretty penny, because it's a pretty item. Goes back to knitting. Sorry, how much precisely was that one again? Oh, where well, that one ran you yeah, about 800 gold pieces. <laughs> Yeah, still out of the uh, the reach there. Yeah. How much so is that dog in, in the, the window? window. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's uh, we got this nice shield over here that we just had finished uh, a couple days ago. That's uh, enchanted little uh, delightful piece. Uh, that one is uh, a little more affordable at about 550 gold pieces. Uh, mm, what does it look like though? Uh, the the shield itself uh, it has. What looks to be two, like the heads of two lions facing away from each other, their claws extended. Um, it has almost like a, like a diamond shape. It's a pretty decent size. The coloration of it is uh, a bright gold where the lions are, and the back of it is a, a dull, almost graphite metallic with a, a gold border around the edge of it. It's very pretty. What does it do? This one, uh, it improves your defenses uh, more than a normal shield would. It instinctively places the uh, the shield in places that might help protect from incoming blows, therefore making you hard to connect with. Oh, that's pretty cool. It's it's a plus one. <laughs> How much is your fancy box? Uh, that fancy box that you're requesting, while not actually enchanted, it is uh, taking away one of the uh, objects that we keep uh, contained. So respectfully, I'll have to charge you the cost of that one in a replacement. But uh, that'll simply put you back about uh, 15 gold pieces total. It's mm. probably smart, though, huh? Because it's probably that, made a bit better, huh? I'll go in on it. Uh, what was in the box originally? That is none of your concern. How like much to make it my concern? Your friend is a strange one. She really she is. She always has She's a rough. always asking She's questions that are weird. <clears throat> she, you know, she is, she is very useful in, in the right circumstances. Oh, I can entirely circles. understand that. I'm right here. I can hear you all she talking can about it. arrows me. out of mid-air. And hear That's things really people say. That's really impressive. Right. Oh, but Mr. Ms. Pumat, Pumat. Um, I have, I have, um, I, just another request. I know I had, I had requested that, uh, would it be possible to invent a small, uh, haver sack, just po the pocket thing. Um, but, um, do you have any sort of magic incantation ability? If I gave you a flask, could you make it never run out of alcohol? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Actually, that is um, a very doable enchantment. It. <laughs> It'll take us a little while, but uh, we can definitely make something like that happen. Uh, how much would that sort of R&D cost me? <laughs> oh. uh, about a week's worth of enchanting time, and the uh, cost would put you at about 250 gold pieces. I'll take it. Oh. <laughs> oh. Here's my platinum flask. <laughs> Could you also sort of put like a nice little the little flourishy design on the side of the flask. Yeah, we can go ahead and outsource that. Yeah, we can make that happen for you. Couldn't wait. And the one knitting goes, yeah, that's not a problem at all. <laughs> oh, wow. That's a lot of gold. That's, that's a lot of liquor. <laughs> it's nothing at all. <laughs> so, you gonna pay up for now? Sure, here, front? take it. No, oh, the whole lump well, yep, sum up front. front. Yep. I appreciate your, uh, your trust in our ability. Uh, I sold. Writes up a quick little uh, piece of paper, hands it to you as a receipt. Should we should buy that box? We definitely should. I will buy that box for us. Uh, how much was it? Did it be... 15 gold? 15 oh, gold yeah, pieces for the box? Yes, absolutely. You wanted two healing potions? That'll put you back about 100 gold pieces for the two. That sounds, that sounds fine. Any other healing potions you can? I mean, we've got a, probably another dozen or so more if you want to buy. I'll take one more as well. I'll take another as well. Ten platinum. All right. <laughs> ten full platinum all right there. So that's uh, 50 I'll gold from each of you. That's a healing potion to each of you. And uh, yeah. Also, um, I, I assume it is uh, out of my reach uh, price-wise, and I'm on a budget, but um, do you deal in uh, arcane knowledge? Uh, uh, Pre-prepared scrolls of any kind? Oh yeah, I mean we have uh, we have certain certainly many number of various scrolls and scroll types and spells and 
that's what you're looking for, yeah, we can is, definitely provide. What is the range? Like, what are your your lowest rung? I am. I guess I'm curious to know. I'm gonna go ahead and double check here. And he goes through his ledger. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, let's see. The, uh, the very basic ones, uh, whether that be cantrips or first level spell castings, those are fairly common. Those will put you back about 50 to 100 gold, approximately. Um, DM, a question from Liam. Yes. Can cantrips be added if they're found? I imagine they could. Okay. Uh, greater healing potion, right? No, it's a regular healing regular. potion. 2d4. Break up heal. Break up heal. heal. <laughs> If you're going up from there to second or third level, those will put you back probably closer to maybe uh, 250 to 500 gold, depending. And then it just skyrockets from there. Well, you know, I'm interested in uh, everything from the second level and below. Do you have a menu? <laughs> well, uh, I mean, uh, we have to order them from the uh, the academy, but uh, we can get them in here for you, or the Halls of Erudition. Give me a moment. Player's Handbook! <laughs> Tell us, are you seeing the, oh, wait, no. Are you seeing the potion of healing pin? It's in the Beyond app, it has all, all of yeah, the it does. Wow. healing. All of the what manuals. Potion of healing, it's, it's. I'm it. only seeing the graders. Uh, I go to, uh, I... care, careful if you're filtering by type, I was having a problem with that. Yeah. I am. We should probably, you know, get Potion of healing. And, and, and put the thing in, in this box, though. Don't yeah, filter by the box is presented, Absolutely. and then search paid, just paid for, for that heal. fifteen gold. Caleb said he was fine. No, yeah. we're not, we're just it's the, it's black. It's not green, blue, blue, or purple. It's, it's like a gold black copy text. Heal. Took me a second. I didn't realize. Go cancel the order. Trying to make something else. What should we have in there? A flask. Oh, there it is. There a there. lead flask. <laughs> 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 it's weird. Every level, the intelligence just gets lower. Yeah. <laughs> well, should we go? Oh, we're looking up. Oh, oh did you? Know? While this is happening, Puma picks up the book again and puts the glasses on and starts continuing to I was, read. I was doing a look around to see if there's anything new. Did we get any awesome. healing potions? Uh, make an investigation. Yeah. I, I, got, got, I got one. Do you need any more, yeah. Caleb? No, no, I'm very good. Thank you. I'll buy a healing potion. 12. All right, so another 50. Potion. 12? Uh, nothing at the moment. It's only been a few days, and the enchantment process and mm. or the, the coming in of new objects can take a while to stock back up. So nothing. The shield is the most recent creation that was presented. That's the only new one you see. Puma. Oh, now there's still like there's there's still the pearl. There's still the cloak. Um, uh, the few other odds and like small wands and things mm. that. Uh, the cloak was the was the most exciting thing. Yeah. Uh, forgive me, I, I just couldn't help but but wondered. Have you ever had a chance to? Pumat Prime, rather. Have you had a chance to exercise your arcane well, abilities? Well, if you want Pumat Prime, he's in the back. I can go get him for you. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, if you wouldn't mind. All right. Nope. Puts the book down on the counter, glasses off, turns around, leaves. <laughs> comes back in, takes the glasses, puts them on, takes the book, continues reading while Pumat Prime comes from the back. Uh, once again, like the, the large set of like goggle glasses on, the uh, apron on. Oh, I was told that I was requested to uh, greet you with a hello. What is happening? Yeah, so so these are all. Um, what what's the uh, correct Se term? Simulacrum. Uh, uh, simulacrum. Yes. That's the one. Uh, just, yeah, just I know it's a little confusing. <laughs> They're all copies of this fine gentleman, uh, Pumat. I just wanted to add, we're such fans of your store. Uh, did you ever uh, find call to I don't know use your magic for combat or what? What led you to a store like this? Oh well. Uh, that's a, it's kind of a personal story. <laughs> I just say I, uh, uh, I didn't get along with uh, my peers at a young age, and uh, found myself kind of wandering, and uh, got picked up by some uh, some nice mages that saw some uh, some potential, took me in and helped me hone my craft and helped me set up a store, and here I am in Zadash. That's great. How many how many years have you had this store? I've been running this place for a good twelve years. Wow. Congratulations. It's it's really a thing. Thank you. What mages nice guy, right? What mages yeah, 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 yeah. were you yeah. were you with? What mages found you? Were they with the Academy? Uh sorta. Of. They were with uh, the Cerberus Assembly. 
That's right. You were talking about oh, them before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They really. Uh... <laughs> oh no! He no, just gets caught in the the corners. So... <laughs> What is hiding in those corners? Now? Oh, uh, the main person who's been evading uh, me is the uh, headmaster uh, or or mid Haas, oh, who oh, runs the info. Uh, info. the Hall of Erudition. Yes, yes. We still Haas. haven't gone there, have we? Nope. Yeah, We've heard about it like Ormid. seven times. He runs the Hall of Erudition. Uh, he's the, uh, or he's the headmaster of the hall, and uh, he scratched the chin for a second. He's the archmage of uh, cultivation within the uh, the Cerberus assembly. He's been a real, uh, real nice beacon of tutelage, and uh, uh, he's a bit rough on the edges, and seems kind of tough, but he's kind of a softy. Especially when it comes to small critters. Thank you. Oh, don't tell him I said that. And for that one moment, you see like a look of fear in his eyes. Small critters. Small critters. Wait, he likes small, small critters. critters? Or mid likes small critters. Like me? Yes, 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 yes. Like me? Maybe. Like, I don't know. Anyway, I gotta get back to work. And he quickly goes into the back room again. Thanks for your time, Puma. <clears throat> don't mention it. <laughs> The one who's reading off the side just goes, side it's it's cool, right? That guy's crazy! Yes. There's, there's some things yes. there. He's actually so. still here. Good! Let's get back to business. Uh, I don't know what you have on tap is. here, um, but I'm looking uh, for, uh, you know, something, uh, just a cantrip. Uh, pretty common. Uh, one uh, shocking... Uh, I want to... Shock and grasp. I know what you're talking about. You know how it works. <laughs> I got it myself. You know what I see? I would like okay. it. Okay. Yeah. I know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. I like the gumption. He goes and gives a big old handshake to Beauregard. Um, let me look that up real fast. <laughs> oh, shit. I don't know what I'm agreeing to. <laughs> yeah, it's an honor that he's reaching out to it. Uh, That's what it feels like. So... <laughs> you immediately... Grab his, his giant mitt and just a flash of white light and pain as electricity just rocks through your body. <laughs> you take three points of lightning damage. Oh, fuck! That oh, God. One. Get that! <laughs> <laughs> All righty, that one will run you 75 gold pieces. Excellent. Uh, pause. The other thing that I'm yeah, interested in. They look pause ish, but yeah. <laughs> Uh, the other one that I'm interested in that is not really my forte, but many wizards believe it is uh, uh, of great benefit. Do you have the shield spell on tap? We can get you a shield spell. That's uh, that's a pretty standard defensive mechanism for those who have the arcane persuasion. Yeah. How much will that run me? Uh, you kind of thumbs to the ledger for a bit. Like, that one will cost you about 200 gold pieces. I will take the pair. Alrighty there. What was the first 275. one? Two seventy-five. Shocking Oh, we'll be twinsies. Yeah. <laughs> Two hundred and seventy-five gold pieces, and uh, he sets his book back down, sure, puts his glasses down, up. leaves them room for a second, and uh, he's gone for about a minute or so. Comes back with two scrolls and sets them on the table. I will take those. Thank you very much, Herr yes. Soul. My pleasure. Did you just call him asshole? <laughs> Uh, that is Arschloch. So no. What, is that, what does uh, that mean? Which? Uh, oh, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Who's on first? <laughs> <laughs> Should we go? Should we get out All right, of there? Uh, Let's get that thing in the box. Anything else you guys require, or can you leave okay, me to my uh, my reading? Well, <gasps> what, what's your reading? Uh, All right, so it's Shadow a breaths. it's a collection of crazy tales about this weird fella. <laughs> what guy? Uh, it's uh, the daring trials and tribulations of Sir Darian oh! Darrington. <laughs> this guy's been all over the place. It's kind of wild. Wow. Fiction or? Oh, it's got to be fiction. I mean, <laughs> but it's good fiction. Me? Well, sum it up for me. You know, give me the. Give me like the the tensor's floating no, disc no. pitch. No. Where, like, no. Oh, no. 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 <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what? It... 
Let me finish my book before I tell you too much about it. But uh, <laughs> right. needless no to say, no he's spoilers. got a he's got this wild kind of construct-looking friend called Daddy, <laughs> um, and he's uh, apparently, according to this thing, there's these powerful folks from over there in Taldore that he's been meeting up with that I just keep messing up every time they go on an adventure. <laughs> Real thorns in his side. <laughs> we can relate. Uh, I'm a big reader. If you uh, finish that, uh, I don't know if you're the kind of fellow who likes to keep every book he reads, but... I got a collection. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Well, I will look for it elsewhere. Thank you. Sure. Uh, I got this shipped out for me from Deerstock. Perhaps if you're in that vicinity, see you get yourself a copy. Okay. Oh, oh, sure. Or a used book. I'd never heard of it until this, so <laughs> probably not that, uh, Are you not that easy to find. Would you be able to put in order for this book for me? <laughs> I mean... Not really a book retailer. I understand, but you know many people. You are obviously a very knowledgeable uh, fellow who has vast connections. I bet we could go back to the chassis and look for that. We'll yeah. probably have it. That's it probably a place like to look for a book. It's a, dirty, it's a dirty book? Not yet. <laughs> All right. Well, I wait for your full review. Thank you. You just wait. All right. <laughs> it's called The Daring It Tales. sounds like shite, Caleb. Yeah. There's much better books out there. <laughs> Let's go, Commander. Things needs to take a care of It's true. I got distracted. You know. know. Boom, thanks for your time. We will not be bothering you any longer. But we will be back because we like you so much. Hey, you're always welcome anytime. All of us are happy to see you come in and spend your hard earned money. Goodbye. 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 Bye. The hand goes off from the curtain back. Bye bye. So, those of you who are making your way towards the Penta Market, you eventually find the outskirts of the Invulnerable Vagrant. You enter the interior, and uh, there are two other individuals that are doing business with two of the Pumats. Do we recognize them? Uh, you do not. They they seem to be just asking questions and looking about the vicinity. Before um, they leave, can I just be like, don't forget they're looking for us, to Molly. Do, do I recognize those people? You do not. Okay. I may, I may have the, the, the chill cloak yeah. Flipped just to sort of try and be a little less conspicuous rolling around for, for what it's worth. Okay. Thank you, artist formerly known as Prince. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so, um, as you enter the chamber and you see the two, the two Pumats are busy, the counter is currently not helmed, and they're mid discussion, but one of them turns and kind of acknowledges you enter. Oh, it's real nice to see you. Just uh, relax there a bit. If you need help immediately, we can see if Prime's available. Well, if you wouldn't mind, this is a, one of our uh, one of our compatriots. This is Yasha, new to your establishment. Yasha, that's a wonderful name. I can't help you because I'm helping this person. But just hang tight a second. Uh, sure. Pumat? He'll be right with you. Isn't he? Puma? You see two of them that look <laughs> identical in the, in the room. Oh, you guys are twins. Uh, something like that. Ah, uh, he'll be right with you. Okay. Turns just, around. Just, just breathe it in. Okay. You hear a couple Roll heavy footfalls. What sounds like a toppling of some metallic pan. That, ping, pow, pow, like, ah, shh, hello. <laughs> and the, uh, the, the, uh, the curtain opens and you see one of the Pumats, but with a set of goggles up above the head. Um, what looks to be a, a, an apron on with a bunch of different tools and various accoutrement kind of stuff into different pockets. Hey, uh, so I'm helping someone. Who, who needs help? Well, actually, okay. this uh, is our friend Yasha. She's a new to your establishment. Hello. Right now, you've been here before. You were working with the other ones. All right, okay. morning, morning to you. Hey, can I help you? I, I just, uh, I mean, do you have Chinese stars? Throwing stars. I don't understand <laughs> what that is. Um, uh, they're like uh, pointy, pointy things that you throw in the middle. Oh, are you talking about like a dagger or a dart or something like that? Darts, daggers, darts. You can, you can probably go to a blacksmith and get that uh, that made for you. I don't really craft things here uh, from their base components. We generally take them in a. I uh, enchant them to a better degree. I make generally not so great things pretty great. Oh. I gather we all hear this conversation, yeah? Yeah. Okay. And you're catching this one. Puma Prime is a little surlier than the, uh, yeah, <laughs> the, the other ones. He's just, 
He seems like he's a little more down to business cool. than the uh, the various versions of him out there. We're, we're, we're probably going to be dealing with some restless spirits, actually. So if there's anything to deal with, like these phantasmagorical creatures, will o' the wisps, that sort of thing. Yeah, interesting. You're going to be dealing with some of the spiritual realm, you say? Yeah, inevitably. All right. I, uh, let's see. I. Uh, Pretty sure I got maybe a vial or two of holy water, if that's what you're looking for. Uh, I don't. That's not usually my purview, but uh, we keep a couple in stock just in case. Let me see what I can muster. Ugh. And uh, goes ahead and drummages through. In the back a bit, you hear more metal and glass clanking, and one box gets shifted <coughs> off to the side. Yeah, yeah, nab it. Yeah, so do you have any uh, healing potions? I don't, and that's actually. You should buy some. I wanted some. to get some. All righty, comes up. I've got two vials of holy water remaining. Those will run you about 25 gold pieces a piece if That's you want to. Perfect. That's exactly what I was looking for. Was was two vials of holy water. Well, look at that. It's like it was meant to be. Straight up destiny. <laughs> uh, I probably need some healing potions or some. Yeah. Do Do you have some healing potions? Uh, you see, it's a funny thing. Uh, these adventurers keep coming in and kind of clearing me out. Uh, we gotta. Got maybe two more, but you got to give us time to restock. You guys, uh, your friends here have been mighty, uh, mighty hungry. Well, they're the mighty nine. Her initial regret. Immediate no. <laughs> How much are they? Yeah, those will put you back about fifty gold pieces a piece, since uh, we have the friendly discount of repeated customers. Isn't that right? Uh, one of the. One of me's? <laughs> One of the Hamas goes, that's correct, they've been in here a few times. He's like, all right, great, thank you for looking out there, buddy. All right. Man, so, I'm really glad to hear that. That friendly discount's getting even friendlier. That really nice cloak you have on the wall. Yeah. How much is that? Oh, you're, you're referring to that protection cloak. Uh, let's see here. Uh, takes it off the counter, checks it. That'll run you back about 800 gold pieces. I fell face first into some coin recently. I think I'll take that. Whoa! Well, and you watch the the demeanor shift a little bit from like the I'm I'm busy kind of like, well, happy to see a big spender coming on first thing in the morning. And you see now you start seeing more of the connection with the other Pumats. Uh, it's like selling me a Buick over here. <laughs> <laughs> well, and uh, might I have your name? I don't think we've had the pleasure uh, personally. Ford. Ford. Tough. <laughs> Ford Tough. Who <laughs> had soul oh my God. pride. And I believe this is now known as Ford's Cloak. So does that mean that the. Uh, that the. the I th I, I, I've seen a, a deal somewhere where somebody also threw in some healing spells when they bought a cloak. Is that a, a thing? Uh, for the... You're looking for a discount for the healing potions? Yeah. Make, make a persuasion check. <laughs> I know, but hey, you never know. I, I like it. Uh, Yasha and Caleb in Napoleon Dynamite. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> can I get a discount? 14? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know what? I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of a fan of the uh, no nonsense kind of a lady. So uh, sure, I'll, I'll throw in, uh, uh, put a ten gold discount on each of those healing potions. So that's eighty gold for you for the two. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll take them. Alrighty, here you go. Thank you. Okay. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I have a simple request. I That's need a, all right. Simple I need requests about, are always open. What you need? Uh, about a hundred gold worth of, uh, of ink for transcribing uh, arcane uh, knowledge. Yeah, yeah. Okay. More of that wizard stuff. I got that for you. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We got a two uh, two ink vials there. Those will last you for a little while. Yeah, get that going for you. Yeah. Some parchment. Uh, all right. Hundred gold, friend. Uh, shunk. Thank you very much. Pleasure doing business with you. I, I have four gold to my name again. Oh, if you need a loan, I can. They're basically. Are your wizards expensive? Yeah. It is. It is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I have no money. Yeah. Gelb. A lot of gelb. I'll make some money. Not gelb. Gelb. 
Were there any throwing weapons that you have, even if they're enchanted? Oh, well, uh, I do have one, uh, one enchanted dagger, if you're so interested. Uh, you think she would like that? I, I don't think she would, actually. She doesn't like to throw daggers. She only likes to throw... She might, but it doesn't well, seem What does it bad. do? Uh, well, this one, uh, when it's thrown, if it misses, it comes right back to you. It comes right back to you? If it misses. A dagger that comes back to you? If you miss with it. Caleb, did you hear that? Sounds like bullshit to me. That's, uh, that's incredible. It's pretty useful. I don't know about incredible. It's not a... <laughs> you miss with it. <laughs> Look, I'm just being straight with you. It's a pretty useful thing on occasion. But, uh... What about yourself? Oh, I'm I'm fine. I, he's already they're already making me something, and I mean I. I yeah, don't... But I've seen you throw a dagger or two I mean, in your I... time, and you always have to walk out to the tree and pull it out, or walk out to the knoll and pull it out. This way, I come right back to you. Think uh, about it. Throwing a dagger just seems so inelegant to me. I don't know why they're meant <laughs> to cut food and to eat food with. I mean, no offense to any of you here, but I gotta get right back oh, to work. Uh, it looks like one, uh, yeah. one of my one of my mees is uh, available to help you for the rest of this. If she changes her mind, we'll let you know. Yeah, no, we'll let let them know. Yeah. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful <laughs> day. It's a pleasure to uh, see you again. Nice you too. to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, big lady. Um, takes his goggles down. Have a good day. Turns around and goes into the back chamber, which is funny him saying big lady, because he's huge, he's bigger than you are. Um, goes in the back and goes right back to work, and you hear another, like, like a foot hit the panel, like, I need to, like, oh, man. How high are the ceilings in this store? Uh, the ceiling's probably about 10 foot. Um, I love how your voice went, Ugh. the ceiling's about. <laughs> <laughs> okay, got it, got it. The other come up. Hi, sorry about that. I was helping a customer, but he's left now, <laughs> not purchasing anything. So I'm happy to help you. What can I do for you? I think we're, we're pretty we're well okay, taken care of. This one has got everything we need, so. Yeah. All righty. Well, have a wonderful day and come by whenever you like, big spender. I saw that. Is my flask uh, coming along all right? Coming along fine. I think that's part of what uh, Pumat's working on right now. Prime's uh, a. <laughs> Add any busy, right? any sort of uh, shiny finish to it, or uh, some extra flair or baubles to it. That would be fine. I'll too. see what we can do. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. All Thank right. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> we leave. All right. <laughs> <laughs> As you turn to see the darkened uh, green wood with uh, gold uh, accoutrement that marks the exterior of the invulnerable vagrant. Uh, the front door is closed, but it appears to be uh, not locked for any particular reason. I have such a clear picture in my head now that we've built it. <laughs> now that we physically <laughs> built it, yeah. I mean, it's a little larger in yeah. in world yeah. than, than the one that we did. But the aesthetic. But but but, but but the aesthetic is there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so as you step forward, the door yeah. opens up and leads you inside, and there the. Same, you know, warmly lit interior with kind of the the, the glowing chandelier uh, above greets you, and uh, across the way you can see sitting behind the desk, face down in a book, one of one of the various pumats who looks up and, oh, why, hello there, yeah, oh, it's been a while. Sorry, oh. I uh, took me a second to recognize you. Still, uh, you know, you're very silhouetted by the bright sunshine outside you right now, and it's a <laughs> bit dark and dearier, so uh, That's come on up. You do always seem to come around like 4 p.m., right when the sun is coming in the windows. I run in. All right, another Pumat comes on the corner and goes, oh, do we have folks in here? Yeah, don't worry, Pumat, I got them taken care of for them. Oh, there's even more coming in, there's, oh. Oh yeah, cool, twins, right. That's cool, <laughs> I like this place, this is nice. Uh, Boom at number three. This is Caduceus. 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 Why? Pleasure. It's Hi. a pleasure to meet you. Uh, it's well. a pleasure to meet you. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. Uh, don't don't see uh, many of our kind uh, wandering around right. these kind of large establishments. I, the, the first one I've seen in the city so far. That's pretty crazy. This is <laughs> this is just nice. Is this yours? Well, it's ours. It's well, it's his. Hey, hey, Prime. You know, you might want to step out of the workshop for a second. <laughs> And you hear some like <laughs> rustling and kind of grumbling in the background, and a curtain opens, and you see a third one of them step out. Uh, goggles affixed to the head, a little bit of like smudges of dirt on the edges of the chin. 
What are you talking about? Oh, my goodness. They're all brothers, and that's there's like three of you now. There's tri triplets. That's great. That's great. Don't see that very often. Where are you from? Uh, to be perfectly honest, uh, we haven't really run into any other fear bogs, um, really, since we came here. Oh, oh me, me, me neither. I I've, I've actually am from up north. I'm just traveling with these kids, uh, working on something. It's nice. Wow. <laughs> How long have you been down here? This is, this is, this place is great. This is great. Well, thank you. So, at this point, the fourth one comes down from a, a set of, a ladder off on the, the right side chamber. Oh, is you already getting? Oh, oh, it's a whole party over here. I said another fear bomb. Comes on, and I was like, yeah, no, there's, uh, there's one over here. And the other Pumat's like, I'm just impressed. I like the, the color tones. It's a great uh, arrangement, uh, visual by, perspective. Impressed by what your mother went through at this point. This is intense. <laughs> this is, there's oh. a lot of you. And uh, the one with the goggles back goes, I, I, sorry about that. I should clarify. These three are just uh, ar arcane-based uh, copies of myself. We are all collectively Pumat, but I am the original. Well, that's the best thing I've ever seen. That's crazy. That's, that's just great. I'd love to learn how to do that. You that's... shouldn't just call them arcane copies. They have their own personalities and their own self, you know? One of the you other ones speaks up and goes, them. I, uh, we absolutely take no offense, um, because, I mean, it's true. All right, but I think each and every one of you is unique in your own way, and you should really appreciate it. You look at the three simulacrum all go, no, at the same time. I go back to rearranging the shelf. <laughs> <laughs> it's just nice to see another furball out in the world doing something, and really, you seem like you're really building something great here. This is, this is just spectacular. Well, I, I greatly appreciate that. This we put a lot of hard work into it, and, uh, you know, I just hard to come across folks like us that would uh, appreciate something on this scale. Uh, you you might know, is there anything I absolutely should see while I'm in town? This, I, the, is, the this is really the farthest I've, I've actually ever been from home. I was, I was curious this if there's anything rocking. in the city that it just, <laughs> a fur bog out, out taking a look around. Well, uh, unless I am mistaken, uh, from my previous memory of times outside as a dash, mm. Um, when's the last time you had a good bath? Well, I, I, I had a hot spring, which was, which was nice. Oh, so well. it's, you know, it, I mean, it was, it had some sulfur content and there was a few, there was some minerals in there that were probably a bit iffy. Uh, the baths here are quite lovely. See that? This one knows what he's talking about. Listen to him, Bed's follow that bath. around. Beds in a bath. What are we talking about? Oh, sorry. Ah, uh, did you come here to do business? <laughs> well, yeah. Too. Prem goes, all right then, uh, nice to meet you. Uh, Caduceus, Clay, pleasure, Caduceus pleasure. Clay. Uh, Pumat Soul, pleasure. Look, look pleasure. forward to doing business with with you. Of course, you, you got gold, we've got uh, things to purchase. Anyway, uh, other Pumats, take care of these folks. I gotta get back to work. Good to see you all again. Nighttime. Go ahead and exit to the back room. The two other Pumats kind of step back and just kind of watch, and they're both just looking at you with this kind of. He seems like a decent boss. That seems nice. You're not too bad, you yeah. know. Uh, say if uh, people say you want to be your own boss, well. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, that's, really that's really good. It feels weird to interrupt whatever. Mm. This yeah. Is. I'm hungry, so... Well, unfortunately, we don't really sell much no, in the realm of food I'm items. Sorry. But, uh... So, I am in uh, the uh, market for some uh, things of arcane nature. Um, oh, I see you're reading a book. What are you reading? Oh, God, no more small talk. Do you still have those bracers? <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, we do, actually, yeah. yeah. Give, I mean, to be perfectly honest, you, you kind of mostly cleaned us out last time you were in here, but we've got a few more items yeah, in here. with those bracers? Uh, we got the bracers here, if that's what you're looking for. Uh, they come down in price. <laughs> no. They've been sitting on the shelf for like six weeks. Yeah. So, you know. And six weeks later, you're coming in and asking about him still. So, uh. He does have a point there. Jake, oh, you right were just there. your. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, price is still tw uh, 1,200 gold pieces. All right. What, uh, what do they do again? Can you explain it one more time? These bracers, enchanted yeah. by our fantastic boss, Pumat Soul, yeah. uh, allow the bearer, uh, as long as they're uh, not wearing any sort of physical armor to impede the enchantment and or a shield on their body, oh. helps protect them by deflecting incoming blows and giving them a better sense of, uh, you know, avoiding physical uh, atrocity under their person. Like they were specially made for you, Bo. You have to buy them. I think you should charge her more. 
What? Whose well, side I, are you on here? I just feel like you're a very <laughs> specialized sort of buyer, is all. If, I mean, right, so if anything, you should give me price. a bargain. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you, know, you should give her a deal. How about we meet in the middle and we just stick with the price provided? Seems fair. Mm. You threw him off, Jester. Oh, <laughs> I got confused. Terrible wing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Look, we might uh, we might be purchasing a few things, That's so true. why don't we wait and see what all ends up on the counter? All right, and then we'll, well, come we'll just back. put this here waiting for you right there. Can I look uh, at it? Can I touch yeah, it? Yeah, uh, Herr Pumat, I am. Um, you look at it, but you don't own it. I don't. Uh, Herr Pumat, I'm considering spending about a thousand gold here, and I'd be more likely to do so if maybe you could give us a better price for these things here. That can be considered, depending on how much of a purchase you're looking to make. What are you looking for? Well, um, I need. Uh, <laughs> I, I think I've forgotten that silly string. <laughs> <laughs> I need quite a bit of uh, your finest paper and ink. Uh, I have uh, a dearth of uh, uh, scroll dearth, a dearth, mighty dearth, mighty dearth. That's a different conversation. Thank you. Uh, mm, I need about I don't know, maybe roughly five or six hundred uh, golds worth of, of your finest paper and ink. Oh, all right. Uh, Three hundred gold, because we need diamonds. Oh, I'm going to be buying some diamonds. I wouldn't worry about that. Uh, well, uh, that's right. the case. If you don't mind waiting, uh, uh, Puma Three, could you go ahead and uh, go to our storage facility and get some more uh, that wizard paper and ink? It looks like we—he's uh, kind of buying out our stock here at the moment. Yeah, not a worry. Uh, I'll just be back here in the better part of thirty or forty minutes, if you don't mind being patient. That one Pumat takes a little cloak and kind of throws it over her shoulders. See you guys in a little bit and exit outside the Pumat that's still at your face. Because still one left. Uh, well, there's there, there were three in the room left behind. One of them had just kind of drifted off to the side for a bit, but it seems to be still listening in. So you still have the one that's dealing oh, with you. Oh, oh okay. Take it. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I also uh, need uh, uh, incense, uh, fine incense, about sixty. 60 gold worth, if you have that much on hand? Uh, we, we don't have a whole lot of incense uh, here. I can probably provide about uh, 20 gold worth of incense, but there are incense makers uh, within Zadash that I'm sure could probably help you out with the rest of it. So just not here. I uh, remember you asking for, for incense before from him, I think. Yeah, I used it. Oh. It's all gone, just like my cat. We can uh, definitely look to ordering more incense if you foresee this being a consistent thing. Yeah, we just I, never normally don't get that much of a request. I mean, obviously, it. this is a bit of a regular thing. If, if you know, the exchange rate is good. Um, uh, sure. But I don't need more than the 20 gold worth of uh, incense today. If you can order more, you know, we're going to stay put for a little while, yeah? Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. What's the turnaround? What? I'll ask you later. Okay. Uh, uh, also, um, uh, uh, oh dear, I need that, and I need that. Uh, oh yes, I was hoping to look through your selection of, 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 of spells you have yourself. Uh, nothing too majestic, but um, I have a, a short list. Majestic. Well, uh, feel free to ask, and I'll go ahead and, and he grabs this small, what looks like a, like a, a, a wood front, wood back with leather edging binding kind of, uh, ledger or catalog that he pulls out and kind of opens it up. Uh, yeah, let me know what you're looking for. I'll tell you if we got one in stock. Uh, well, uh, if you could uh, just uh, flip to the transmutation. Uh, Takes a little set of go like glasses and puts them on the edge of his nose. Um, I'm right. looking for uh, w one that uh, can help, you know, if your friends are, f are falling and you don't want them to fall so hard. I got better far, we got that, sure. Okay, um, I uh, <laughs> get hurt very easily. And I, yeah, I need something really to help me get out of Dodge a little bit quicker. Uh, all right, uh, there's a few options there. Uh, for uh, lower level enchantments, we've got an Expeditious Retreat spell. That'll help get you kind of out of the thick of things. That's a winner. All right, that's putting that down as well as a possibility. Those uh, prices here, because they said it, uh, they're both relatively simple spells. So I put them at about 100 gold apiece. That's 200 gold uh, total for those two spells. Uh, and, and do you have uh, uh, something that can, uh, like, uh, say, uh, catapult th things around the room? I could do that for you. Yeah, but, me too. But I also want like to be able to do covered. it. 
Yeah, well, here, uh, let's see. In, in, in the, the realm of what you're looking to accomplish I here. Pick up something and throw it across <laughs> the room. I'm not paying for that. Some <laughs> <laughs> Aussie the mind stuff right there. I mean, Chester, I agree with Chester here. So uh, it's your, uh, you're We're going, you're going like uh, directly, not messing around, just a straight catapult. That's some 1994 of you. Straight up catapult. <laughs> yeah, straight up catapult. Is that what it's called? I'll take that Are as you well. Sell him a straight straight catapult, catapult that he has to assemble straight himself. Straight up catapult. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, catapult, yeah, uh, we do have uh, that as well. That it's another hunt that's 300 gold for the, the batch of three. Any more spells you're uh, no, inquiring no. about? I mean, there are so many, but I have a limited budget. Um, I'll think about it if you uh, can help uh, my friend Beauregard with a, a good price on those. I also mm -hmm. might want to buy weapons if you have a weapon that is also that's really cool. Anything and stuff. interesting? Uh, in well, here, so. I'll show you what we've been able to, to uh, accomplish since the, your absence. Uh, Weapon-wise, uh, this wasn't enchanted more than it was something that came into our purview from somebody that was looking hard for some cash, and we offered them a bit of a, uh, an exchange as it was promising and intriguing. And he pulls out what looks to be this long sword, but beyond the hilt, the blade is just snapped and gone. So it's a broken long sword. Um, it's got like a silver hilt and a silver pommel wrapped in red leathers around the handle. Uh, and there's a very fine filigree across the hilt and kind of around the base. It's just this like silver loop on the the bottom of the of the of the pommel. Um, but it's it's a broken sword. I would have to get it fixed. Okay. Or well, can I still stab people with the broken part? Uh, you got about an inch of uh, of blade there, and it looks like it's still sharp in places. But you can, if you get real close, you could probably make someone have a really bad day. What does it do? Well, uh, looking it over, it looks like there was some sort of enchantment embedded in it, but since the blade has been broken, uh, there's uh, not much else for I'm uh, looking at, uh, it looks to be very old. Looks like it probably was uh, a relic uh, from pre, uh, uh, she goes and looks at his notes real fast. Uh, yeah, this uh, this would be a, a pre-divergence uh, from the Age of Arcanum. Uh, so it's it, and the reason we took it is just the historical significance. We could probably fetch a pretty penny should we take it to the uh, uh, various uh, lyceums. The academy would probably be real interested. Uh, but if you want to take it off for sentimental value or look at it repaired sometime, it's uh, three hundred gold. Well, I mean, I'll look at it. I don't know. It's pretty broken looking. Okay. Uh, we also. Uh, Brian finished up some of this uh, dust here, and he pulls out a small sack. It looks to be um, like a like a red brown dust. He says, "This uh, he's kind of proud of this one. I'm going to be real honest with you. Uh, if it's sprinkled over any edible substance, uh, greatly improves the flavor uh, to the point where it's downright distracting." So uh, it says the dust of deliciousness. Oh my goodness. That's so exciting. That's yeah. a very exciting thing. Oh, that's wow. expensive. Uh, to, to spice. Dude, spice. <gasps> spice. Last thing. Seems like something that you can I'll take that. La last thing we've got here, and then we're pretty much out at the moment. You guys are kind of become our number one customers, which is really appreciated. Um, uh, just finished this cloak last week here, and he go steps around the edge, and you can see, like, while as well decorated as the place is, it's pretty bare now. <laughs> you guys have kind of come through and grabbed the, the necessary bits, and what else was in there has been picked up as well. You guys are the only uh, people who shop here, but you've been the most recent intense uh, customers. Uh, this, uh, and he pulls what looks to be this kind of fine bluish, almost purple tint cloak material that as it flows, as, as he lifts it up from behind the small, like, locked box, it shimmies, or like ever so faintly gives off the shimmer. Uh, this is uh, designed to uh, kind of obfuscate the uh, movements of the person who wears it to where it makes them a little more difficult to pay attention. Uh, the enchantment's here, and he looks back, and you can see it right along the hood of it, there's these faint little runes. Uh, this is some, uh, these are uh, Sylvan. I don't know if any of you read. Uh, uh, more the classic. I, 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 I read yeah. silver. Well, there you go. There you are. Uh, the, this this is sure. specifically a cloak with a, an elven enchantment Ooh. designed to uh, help make things difficult to see. So uh, there's that one as well. Yep. Yep. Uh, let's take a look at that. That's all we get. Ooh. That's pretty cool. How much is that running for? Four fifty. Oh, question. Yeah, I had an answer. 
Is there anywhere else around town I could get, like, an enchanted weapon of some sort? Yeah. Unfortunately, enchanted weaponry is kind of a very specialized, uh... But everybody else has really cool weapons, and I just have an axe. Well, I'm, I'm sorry about that. I can, I can, if you want to commission an axe, we can start working on an enchanted one for you. How much would that cost? Uh, well, it depends on what sort of enchantment you're looking for. If Something you just... that makes me really cool. Oh, okay. That would make me hit really hard and probably, like, open wounds that don't close ever and, like, maybe poison people and, like, also turn them into candy. The other Pumat is now looking over <laughs> another woman going, like, <laughs> like uh, you, we'll uh, have to talk to Prime about that. Um, the Prime? <laughs> Comes up. Yeah. Uh, she wants to uh, uh, see if you could enchant uh, an axe that uh, hits really hard and it's really cool and wounds don't close. And yeah, like, you know, like really bad wounds and like also it really hurts a lot and um, it, it makes people turn pink and also it makes people like start dancing and stuff. He watches his point time is actually like in his head doing math. A, <laughs> I, I could probably manage something like that. I uh, got about a, about an eight month window for completion, and uh, probably run you about uh, between ten to twelve thousand gold. <laughs> you haven't come this far. <laughs> Seems like a really reasonable price. For all those oh, I can guarantee it. Won't find anything better than that for a specified number of enchantments this what side of Rex just and one of those enchantments. What about like it just you know makes people start X dance. dancing? X dance. X dance. X dance. So you want a weapon that when they hit somebody they start dancing? They like go. Yeah, and they can't stop. It's like you know it'd be really hard for them to stop. All right, so the only enchantment you're requiring is the possible ability of making something dance uncontrollable. Oh my god, that'd be so cool. All right. Uh, <laughs> I really liked the candy thing, by the way. I feel like that would be harder. Maybe they can just decorate it to look like candy. <laughs> Maybe I could decorate it to look oh, like Oh, craft night. <laughs> uh, all right, looking, uh... You said you're not here. <laughs> so much. What you so said you're much. Shopping and crap. Crap, yes. so much. Oh, God. Welcome you, back, you Ann. Take both my eyes. <laughs> or you it's just, uh, looking... Are you proficient? <laughs> What's on TV, babe? HG? Oh, no, I'm out. <laughs> Michael's had a stationary sale. There we go. <laughs> that's that's going to be, uh... Oh. It's doable, it's pricey. That one will put you about uh, 8,000 gold. Oh, I don't have that much either. Wait, do I? No. No, I don't. About that way. Sorry. <laughs> if you want just something that's all, uh, pretty sharp and uh, helps you hit a little better, I could do that for much cheaper. How much? Uh, let's see, that one will put you back about... Uh, I'd say uh, maybe 400 gold. Oh, that sounds way better. To finish that in about four or five days, yeah. Whoa, okay, I'll do that. All righty, just uh, wet, provide the weapon and we'll get that Here. taken care of for you. Take this one. Uh, okay, what kind of axe is it? It's a, it's a, it's an axe. Hand axe. It's a hand axe. Hand axe, okay, so it can be thrown as well. Ooh, guess it's can. <laughs> Did you just now realize that? Yup. <laughs> 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 All right, we'll go ahead and we'll get right on that for you. Nah, don't worry. Uh, Sweet! So that'd be 400 gold for that. Okay, okay, okay. Put that in that pot right there. Since you're looking for possibly other purchases, that's 400 gold pieces. Uh, what else are you looking to buy? I'm... I'm thinking I'm... I mean, we should get that, right? Uh, yeah, no, I think I want that. I, I can't... Think long swords aren't simple weapons, so I can't... No. Yeah. Yes. But, uh... I don't know. I like broken oh, things. Cloak. I want the cloak. <laughs> oh, no, we're getting the cloak. All oh, right, so that's, uh... Caleb, you wanna, do you want to split that cloak with me, maybe? Oh, I, I, I am uh, <laughs> allocating my funds to uh, other things, my friend. I'm sorry. Oh, well, I'll get the cloak. Then. I'll help you get uh, the well, cloak. Well, okay. here's the deal, Pumat. What was that you said, like, um, five or so minutes ago about us being your number one customers? Oh, yeah. 
And you would give us a deal if we bought a whole bunch of stuff? Yeah. Is this where we go for the I diamonds? Am, I'm too? dropping a total, uh, if we are all amenable, 960 gold on various things, and I think that that is a pretty good pile. Yeah. Maybe you could knock a couple hundred off of the price mm -hmm. of those prices. Make a persuasion check. Yeah. With advantage, since everybody's helping you. Come on, come on. Get it, get it. That's Got good, it. that's good. Uh, yeah, there is a 21. Ooh. You see the, um, the, the Pumats talking to you, kind of. <laughs> Let me go ahead and uh, have a conversation with the boss man. Hold on just a second. Turns around the corner. You hear some hushed voices. And... Yeah, fine, sure. <laughs> Comes back out. All right, we uh, we get ourselves an approval for a discount there. We'll be happy to knock about a hundred gold off that total price for you, if that's amenable to you. <coughs> it's pretty oh, amenable. Sure. All of us save like twenty gold. Yeah. Gold's still pretty. Yeah, that's about it. Yeah. All right. So who's buying what? Five gold. I can. I'm getting the gold. sword and the and the cloak. Sword I'm going handsies on the cloak oh, with him. Well, thank you. Alrighty. Well, here. Are you pretty serious? Well, here. Well, I'll, I'll do a total price here, and then you guys can. Uh, Eight hundred seventy-two. Oh no. Eight hundred seventy-three. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. It's four hundred for getting your hand axe oh. enchanted. Yes, and then another two. Because I'm four, going four. in halvesies on the mm -hmm. cloak. Nine hundred forty. Well, I'm doing a total one <laughs> on here first. Oh, oh, you guys can decide how to divvy it up for you. So it's uh, nine hundred fifty-one. Four fifty for that cloak. That's like twelve hundred. Nine hundred for the bracers. That's three hundred for the handle. Uh, no dust. Uh, no, we'll pass all the dust for now. It's uh, interesting. It's and then you've got uh, and 300 for the spells. Yeah, and uh, uh, six, 600 gold worth of paper and ink. Uh, and then uh, 20 for all the incense you have right now, and I'm going to leave 40 in advance for more incense coming. Oh, hey, hold on a second there. Uh, so it's uh, 300. 300 worth of spells. Yeah. And you said 600 worth of paper, paper and ink, right? Yeah. And at that, at, at this time, you guys have been discussing the other Pumat comes back with his cloak with like a big old crate in his hand and goes like, get the rest of all the paper and ink, hold on. <laughs> Sets it down. Oh, jeez. Sets pulse. Uh, then that is uh, 20 gold for the Urian well, total of, I would like to give you 60 gold now for, for uh, that much incense. I understand you only have about 20 now, but I know you're good for the rest, so I'll just pay in advance. All right. Are you guys all marking off your uh, yeah your amounts? Lost, yep. well, we'll yeah. For the for the total, but yeah. I'm i have taken just twenty five gold off of my bracers. Yeah. Based on how many pieces you've thrown at me, it's probably better just have you all deduct what you what you yeah, spent yeah, individually. I was gonna try gold. that, but then uh, no, no, that's got a little chaotic. Give me down bracers. There's your there's your sword. There's your bracers. Forty platinum. There's your cloak. Three hundred. Yay. Yeah, that that's the deliciousness. Uh, yeah. Is that one use or multiple yeah. uses? Six. Is it like a six servings of dust in this? That's why I was like, mm. that's still pretty good. It's still good, but mm. okay, I want some of that too. Don't worry. Well, there you go. You can go ahead and mark off that amount there as well. And when all is said and done, when you've marked off your amounts, here's a hundred gold back. You may de redistribute it as you see fit. Oh shit! You got a hundred dollar rebate. We got 100 a rebate. Hundred gold. Well that, really? well, that was what you was what you hackled him down. Oh, <laughs> oh so we're okay. Okay, it just makes it easier than that. Will you That's take me. five gold off of the dust because you like me? So we all make a persuasion check. We all take twenty five. We get, we each wow. save twenty five. Twenty five. <laughs> wow. That means he likes me. Twenty. Well, only because you are so nice. But don't tell the boss. I won't. <sighs> All right. Wow. Mm. Feels so good. We'll get a real shopping. Mm. Get a shopping high. Get started. <laughs> so I'll see you back here in about first. about five days or so, there, Jester, and we should have a fresh new enchanted uh, hand axe there. For okay, you. okay, okay. All righty. Well, it's been a pleasure. <laughs> Thank you for your business. What was that book that you were reading? Oh, so uh, pulls it up again. So that uh, Tarian fella, whatever. <gasps> uh, but, but most of the way through it. Kind of a slow reader. Are you the last Pumat of the Pumats to read it? Yeah, we've been kind of passing it around as we each finish it. Mm, you should form a book club. I'll ask him. <laughs> really appreciate the uh, suggestion. Well, uh, thank you for your business. I have uh, a lot to do, and I'm going to attempt to lift the crate of paper. 
I can help with that. Oh, All thank right. you. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Thanks for that. Pleasure to meet you. Uh, it's a pleasure to meet you as well. I'm sure we'll see each other again real soon. Real hope so. Yeah. Yeah. Looking brighten, forward to it. Brighten up the room. Oh, thank you. And what a room to brighten. <laughs> uh, you're too kind. <laughs> you're the best. Do they like, go with the outfit, though? Eventually, you come upon the uh, familiar green and gold wooden exterior of the invulnerable thing. Wow. wow. It's been a while. It's been a hot moment. It's been a while. Okay, we're, we're about to go in there. We have a lot of money. Well, some of us do. Some of us went out and got tattoos. Really badass tattoos. Yep. Super stoked. Look at we shimmer. Uh -huh. I shimmer. Look at that. Look at that. Look at this. Mm -hmm. the shoulder shimmering. Mm -hmm. That's oh, diamond redness. dust in me is that right pus? now. <laughs> diamond. Oh, it is pus. <laughs> oh God. Just clean it up a little. Oh, okay. Aquaphor. Cool. Cool. I'm oh, sorry, I'm so inside. You guys enter? We do. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is Caleb there? Yeah, I pulled up. Uh, yeah. Here, He's here's your cat. Yeah. He Is loved he okay? It. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, my look gosh. Look at him. He's we're fine. Well. We tell Caleb everything. No. Frumpkin visually shows me everything. Does it work like that? Yeah. Telepathic link, man. Fuck. That's cool. It's like a camcorder and a cat. Yeah. It's like a little USB cat. <laughs> <laughs> You enter the the, USBC. the warm oh chamber, the uh, you know the lanterns themselves still hanging, the light flickering, and the the nice uh, kind of dark green interior with with these kind of green velvet curtains that go over the the windows to each side. The little uh, the, the lantern light kind of giving this warm feel. You can see the uh, the tables set out with a handful of things on them. It's kind of sparse in here. Um, oh, war time. War time. Um, you step inside, the door closes behind you. There, uh, you can see there's one familiar face, uh, a Pumat sitting at the counter and is currently in the process. You can see he has like a, like a band across the forehead that's kind of keeping the hair out of the front of his eyes and is in the process with his tongue sticking out of his mouth of writing down on a stack of papers before looking at him and going, Whoa, hey there! Yeah. Oh, I have some familiar faces I haven't seen here in a long time. Uh, what, what, what's going on? You ready to get primed for you? Oh, uh, oh yeah. well, hi, Pumat. Hey, how oh, uh, it's been a oh, it's been a whole nelly of a few months there, I tell you. Uh, so, uh, what's what's been keeping y'all so busy? Oh, travel, lots of yeah, travel, yeah, yeah. all over. Work Business. stuff mainly. Oh, hey, some great did you great finish those um there. bracers? What? Which bracers are you talking about? I just yeah. looked through that paperwork here. Yeah, we had them made huh? somewhere else. Yeah, it was in Was it? Do you have a receipt, perhaps, or like an order for him? Claim, uh, claim ticket. Some mm -hmm. sort of a yeah, pickup yeah, yeah, here. Big oh. That big. Uh, oh, yeah. Never mind, never mind, never mind. I just noticed okay. you got some. Sorry. Well, here, uh, let me get. Uh, <laughs> boom it! Boom it! You got some returning customers you haven't seen in a while. Here, uh, I'll just take this work upstairs in my room here. Uh, Everything been okay? It looks like you might have been robbed. It's very empty in here. Oh no, it's just at that point, you know, the uh, the curtain comes past, and you can see the familiar face of Pumat Prime, uh, <laughs> sweat in the forehead, goggles in front of the yeah, eyes, yeah. with like the long protracted lens in the front, <laughs> wearing kind of leather apron over the rest of it. Goes, yeah, we've been just uh, running the clock here around. The assembly had a lot of orders coming in over here the past few months, and it just uh, you know it's been less of a Less of a shop as much as it's been sort of an aid for the war effort. Oh, you know, it's you trying to. to the front? What's up? Sure. Sending supplies to the front, I said. Oh, yeah, trying to keep our soldiers alive and, uh, you know, <laughs> best we can at least. There's only so many of us to go around. <laughs> Where are the other two guys? They're like, oh, they're napping. It's like, oh, I earned it. It's fine. Um, <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, just uh, sorry we're a little low. Uh, what you looking for? What can I help you with? Well, we've come with quite a bit of coin to spend. Actually, we were quite looking back to returning to your place of business. Uh, any um, high-value <coughs> items that perhaps... Uh, Unusual or otherwise. Uh, oh, well, uh... Just so you know, your previous items have gone to good use, and I'll summon the, the sword and show the, the hilt of... Oh! Had it repaired. Well, it's a sight for some flipping eyes right there. Let me take a yeah, look at that, that thing. <laughs> Yes, I, I couldn't make this myself. This is uh, this is a mighty fine craftsmanship. It all started here, the invulnerable vagrant. Wow, that's that's just that's just beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, 
<laughs> I'm taking it back. I'm gonna get a little, little, uh, whole teary eyed here and just, uh, proud. Puts like the goggles up a bit. <laughs> wow. Well, if you ever look into sell that, let me know. I will keep that in mind. Alrighty. Um, hey, you guys are, uh, you guys are still doing the adventure in then, right? Mm -hmm. Quite a bit. Yes. These days, yeah. Yes. I got it. Quite the problem solvers. Got a few things, right, around here? Sure, sure. Quite first. Yeah. Well, uh, you be able to help me with something? You don't mind? Help oh, you, of course, I mean, yeah. What, 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 Just what curious, I got gold, I got discounts, uh, for, you know, repeat customers especially, and, uh, uh you know, I like to do this whole bag of burr a favor, I just, uh, like to... Well, here, I've been working on a new enchant for months, and, uh, I finally got most of the way into finishing it, but I uh, kind of miscounted my materials and uh, had to hold my progress. Okay. What are so, you in need of? Well, uh, I need an additional vial of Swavane Basilisk oil. Uh, my usual contact has been delayed up north and, uh, and the assembly is leaning on me to finish this commission for one other member, so it's kind Which of member? important. Hello. Can't tell you, sort of, you know, privilege to the client, you understand? So, um, but uh, I'd be happy to pay, like, or uh, kind of looks at paperwork here, uh, about uh, 5,700 5, gold for the veil. 5,700 gold? Yeah. Wow. Swaving Basilisk oil. Where would yeah. you find that? Well, you'd probably find it uh, in the Swaving Islands, probably. Oh. Yeah, obviously. Where is uh, that? Those islands. Get out those maps. Well, wait, we can just ask him, where are those? Now, what I say, uh, I, I, they're, they're uh, south of the Menagerie Coast, like all along the, the southern base yeah. of Wild Mountain. You can find them, usually coastal. Um, Where's that in regards to Rumble Cusp? The Suavane Islands? Oh, shit, uh, right next to them. Oh, sweet, sweet. Yeah, how so, soon do you need this, Pumat? Well, I mean, you know, sooner the better, but it's not a huge push. I just, preferably in the next well, couple well, months or well. so. I mean, we may be making our way what? that direction what? pretty soon, so that works out well. What is the date? Today? We've been kind of out of commission for a bit. I don't know the exact day. Let me get it There's from that. Crit Roll Stats. <laughs> <laughs> well, here, I'll, I'll get it for you after the episode. Okay. All right. I'm just trying to figure out how much time that. we've got. Yeah, until. do you have a rough That's idea of how close we are to... Go time Traveler for Con? Traveler. Uh, you Roughly. were. Uh, I'm. I have to look at the look at the full count of all totally the days. I'd say you're you're your number of weeks off. Okay. 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 You know, but it's getting there. Yeah. So uh, anyway, I, I need a full six ounces of this oil, so it's so gonna. It's, uh, it's uh, if I get a procure for you a safe vial for it. Just don't touch this stuff. Oh, sure. okay. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if you're familiar with the Swabane Basilisks. They're, uh, they're kind of a sea serpent type creature, you know, about 20, 25 feet long, if I recall correctly. Uh, their bites are hurting, you know, it's not too bad, but they uh, they excrete this oil around their body, helps them slither, and uh, well, it touches your skin, <laughs> kind of starts turning you to stone. They wait for you to sink to the bottom, and then they, wow. they eat off of the, uh, the corpse, you know, oh, petrified. Uh, real dangerous. Lots of put a lot of a lot of sailor stories about it, and you've actually at this point be like, "Oh shit! I thought that was just like a story, like a like a song." Sounds right. It's, it's really clever. They turned them into stone. Oh, and it's very nice. Uh, hey, trust me, I almost became a boom hat piece of art when I almost forgot my gloves working on this thing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. that was a close one. Anyway, um, yeah. So if you ever you get get that around back here, that'd be much appreciated. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll definitely <laughs> help you with that, Mister uh, Soul. Do you have any, anything in right now? Yeah, in the meantime. Yeah, uh, it kind of pulls out like a. He says most of the things up there are just for show. They're basic kind of plus one enchantments. Or you know, you guys seem to have looks around here. Kind of a. Uh, he kind of came back here looking almighty. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey. Um, I, uh, we're trying to keep up. I got a couple, got some healing potions. Uh, and he pulls up. interested yeah. in those, yeah. He's got two healing potions, two greater healing potions, and one potion of superior healing for sale. Take all. Want to take all of them. How much are those? Are they? Mm -hmm. Well, they're 50 gold apiece for the base healing potions. They're 250 for the greater, and 2,500 apiece for the single uh, superior healing. That's more gold. expensive than my tattoo. Put in a pinch! That was a magic trick. 
<laughs> How many superiors? Where'd it go? We Zero. took the only superior that we had for guzzled it really fast. In a pinch. Well worth it, though. You really care about me. Um, we'll take the superior and the two greater healings. <gasps> Already. I'd actually let's say let's to, just let's just take them all because even a even a minor healing potion will wake you up if you got if you get knocked down. That's true. And then you can get back up again. Two regular. Well, you're you're saying. Take, take the whole kitten caboodle. Oh yeah. You get no knocked down and get up again. <laughs> By the way, never gonna keep no, no, can I never. just say again how nice it is to see another fear ball no, this side of the Empire? It's It's been a while for me, too. It's, yeah, it's been no, a while. You guys have met, right? You, you've met before. <laughs> no, never. Not. You've not met? I'm just I'm trying out just being sarcastic. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, hey, no, we met, we met yeah. once before, yeah, yeah oh, no. Okay. Yeah, oh. yeah just, but it's been a while, you know? I just. Oh, wow. uh, yeah, I like in the style. I feel. Oh, thank you. I just just uh, was looking for a bit of a change. Yeah, yeah and all you guys kind of really mix it up. 350 gold from everybody. For oh, I can do that. There you go. Just lay these out here for you. And, uh, it is, yes. Yeah. See fit. What kind of plus one things do you have? Oh, uh, plus one leather. I got like a plus one shield over there. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, I got two of these potions of uh, maximum power. What is that? What is that? Uh, there's 750 gold what a piece. What do they do? Uh, let me pull it out for you. Excellent. I've never heard of such a thing. Sounds metal. He pulls it, shows it to you. It's, it's a vial with like a glowing purple liquid that kind of just swirls around inside as he spins it a bit, and in the inside it kind of creates a small little vortex that calms down. Um, so it doesn't taste real great, to be honest, but uh, it really kind of bolsters a uh, release of arcane power. You know, these are pretty, uh, these are supposed to technically go to the front lines, but uh, you know, I, I can pass it on to some friends here and some repeat customers if you don't mind. Uh, essentially, just so you know what they do is you drink it, and within one minute after drinking the potion, instead of rolling the dice for damage dealt on something, you can choose to instead use the highest number possible for each die. Whoa, so it's like a maximum, maximum damage. damage. On one turn? Uh, yeah, you have to use it within spell. a minute. No, it, you, it's whatever, you have one minute one to turn. use it, and so then if it happens... So 10 rounds of maximum damage. No, 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 no. You have 10 no, rounds until yeah, it goes yeah, away, yeah, and then once you cast the spell, one. it uses it. Got it. It's a scroll? It's a potion. potion. So if you have one thing that does 5d10 damage, you do sure. 50. Mm -hmm. So you can... Uh, that's 750 gold pieces for the single use, and uh, he looks at the uh, thing. If you roll a not, crit, and you for a single you know, use I should probably keep one of these just because they were ordered, but if you want the one... sure. I then, think I think the one because then, I mean that could be a one-two combo that's pretty impressive because I can also make things vulnerable for, to one attack, so that would double damage. You We're, can do that. Yeah. Wow. We're definitely taking at least the one. We don't want to put you in any no. precarious precarious positions. Or right. any order. damage or melee damage or or like magic or damage. Any damage. It's Matt. Wait, what? It's your ability? No, it's, it's spell. That's, no, that's it's only spell. arcane. This is arcane. Yeah. Oh. But your ability is is a is a is a is an attack. Oh, is it fireball? No, it would not affect a spell unless, oh, it the, spell. unless, unless the spell had to too. roll to like, hit. What's like, fireball? Sure. So like a ray spell or like you know firebolt or yeah. something you had to roll. Like I could I could double a fireball. Yeah. To one target is twelve d six. Yes, we'll take that. And then if it hits, I can roll that damage. Got that one there for you. And I got this other. Oh, yeah. this, uh, sorry, everything else is pretty much on order except for this. And he pulls up what looks to be like a, a, a thick, squat, um, like metallic uh, casing. It looks it looks like like what would be like a heady perfume bottle, but it's made of some sort of like like tin like material with a uh, with a rubber capper on top. It's wrapped around. He goes, "This is uh, called oil of tempering. Yeah, you can like rub it on." Uh, Piece of, of armor, and uh, for the next twenty-four hours or so, it gets like a little, a little boost. Oh, cool. oh yeah. This uh, one's got a. This one's only got two applications to it. Uh, how much of a boost? Well, plus one to your armor class for twenty-four hours. Check it. How much? How is much? It? Just takes about an hour to apply it, um, and this one will run you about uh, twelve hundred gold pieces. A little risk for my blood. Yeah, one AC. How much is that shield of plus one? Well, with plus one shield? Let me go ahead and check there real fast. Plus two, I'd be all over it. For 24 hours. It's rough. Mm -hmm. uh, it goes ahead and starts going through the book in the back there as you're waiting patiently and you're sitting there. 
Um, what's your armor class, Caduceus? 18. You feel this searing pain in your back. This sudden burst of intense, deep, piercing pain. What? Your breath kind of halts in your chest for a second as the muscles in your torso seize. What? What? You. Did you touch it? I didn't touch anything. Something's attacking him. Suffer. <laughs> yep. Puma oh. is the mole. What is happening? Is there an invisible guy? In There's the gotta be somebody invisible. Here's your thing. She has a searing pain in the back of your neck. Or in your back. In my back, right? Oh my gosh. Well, my thing lasts for an hour and I cast it in. Uh, Take 45 points of slashing damage. Oh what? shit! Well, we'll make a constitution up. saving throw for me, please. You were being it. Why Why Would we see it? Can we see it happen? Mm-hmm. Hold on. And take and make a constitution saving throw? Correct. Okay. Uh, 15. 15, okay. From that dense pain, you feel something begin to temper, like very briefly begin to, to corrupt into your veins and your body shrugs off whatever, whatever, Force or or thing is trying to pierce. I as cast detect magic and swing behind me. You guys he, kind of hear this strange oh, oh, from Caduceus. Uh, Caduceus leans forward. You all spin around and look, and they're kind of just creeping up out of the ground. You see a female form, dull, kind of gray, almost blue purple skin, black headband, bright red hair that kind of spills down in front of the face, cloak and armor with a deep grin as she draws one of two dark envenomed daggers from the back of Caduceus and kind of laughs before shifting back into the ground like a ghost. Uh, what? Oh shit, is that the, is that the, is that the name? Is that the, is that the fourth horseman? Is that the, is that the, what? The as one? Pumat says, well, what was that? Are you okay? No. And that's where we'll pick up. Oh! So, for the purposes of brevity, you guys prepare your stuff, and a minute goes by and she doesn't appear. Two minutes, five minutes of silence and getting ready for certain positions. I fire anyway. You fire. <laughs> <laughs> you take a little bit of time. Should we run up and check on Puma? Puma? Yeah, Caleb. yeah, yeah. Someone go check on the poo. Can I run up and show your cat? I just back up from this one. We're gonna pull out. Plural. Uh, you see, like the th- three of them from upstairs, kind of look down. Oh yeah, we're just, uh, we're just, yeah, taking it easy up here. Everything okay? And come out like, yeah, no, we got it. Don't worry. Uh, scared them off. Whatever they were, it's uh, why well, doesn't happen every day? Whew. Kind of. I'm gonna. Goes to us. I don't know. I'm gonna. I'm gonna make some tea. Anybody want any? Uh, yes. Oh, yes, so please. so much. I'm gonna. I'm gonna oh. say, let's put a few pots out. Come on, come on, boys, help me out here. Can and they all kind of. Tea, um, sitting on the tables, please. <laughs> Trevor. So, so as you guys kind of take a moment and. I sit on the edge of the counter. I don't trust it. I'm not Hot gonna lava. feel safe anywhere mm-hmm. ever again. <laughs> that sucked. Nothing so, went right. Nope. It's clear Here's Oban wants us dead. can't be killed right now anyway. I don't know. What? Well, nothing else couldn't be killed. I bet she can't be How killed How did either. they know we were here? Scrying, yo. How, how do we protect we against that? Who knows how long they were following us. Jeez. Maybe we just need to watch our backs. Pumat! Comes back in with, you know, one set of, one tea set and two of the other come out with Two other tea sets. Uh, it's about all we got at the moment, but uh, it's warm. Is there and, uh, anything that you make or sell that can protect us from scrying eyes? Well, I mean, yeah, I can make some uh, some things that can make you undetectable. I'm gonna need a few weeks per implement to produce. Per implement? You can't make them simultaneously and sort of like. Uh... Well, it only takes me that short period of time because all four of us are working at it. Oh, okay. Wow. 
Wow. Well, I can't just turn it around too fast here. It's a, you know, it's a finely crafted art form. Oh yeah, that sounds cool. Oh, oh, here, just, uh, just pouring everyone cups of tea in the center of the chamber as it's doing that. Pomego goes, so, uh, what, why? <clears throat> Who was that? What, what'd you do? Where'd they go? What's, uh? We found ourselves um, in the attention of some rather terrible people since we last saw you. Mm -hmm. uh, apparently. Apparently they've become a bit, um, Aggressive with their um, plans to even the scales. Have you ever heard of um, the chain of oblivion? <laughs> Boy, are you serious? Afraid yeah. so. She's she's serious. Yeah. Doesn't she look serious? So wait, this person's uh, involved with uh, with that Thurston fella? Mm. Apparently. That's real bad. And they uh, they know where I work now. Well. Oh. I think they were after us. Should we burn down the store, start afresh? I like where you're going with that, but I think that should be a very uh, last. last case scenario. <laughs> you, you don't Caleb respectfully. Kills the flame in his hand. <laughs> anyway, uh, <laughs> come on. You don't happen to have any uh, secrets, arcane items, relics that perhaps you have stowed away in your room in your back office that you don't have out on display, anything that might have drawn the attention of someone like this, only looking out for your well-being. Because it's either uh, us or some... They were coming for us or thing. something you might have. I can't imagine they didn't really come after me. Yeah. So uh, goal and really, to get in and out, why would you do it at a time where you have to fight Seven, eight other people. Well, besides that fact, like most of the stuff that I have right now that hasn't already been shifted off to uh, assembly's requirements are the things that I keep on myself to keep me safe. And, uh, you know, kind of want to hold on to those right now. Uh, what, are you, what are you planning to do? We have no fucking idea. Yeah, you know, if you were to trace someone that, you know, could fall through the floor, I know what we would do. What, what, what would you do? What would we do? I'll probably scry at him. That sounds really smart. Great, good. Yes. So we're going to them. That is correct. We have to find them. Because oh. it is only a matter of time before this happens again, and I hate to tell you all, but we are back to camping together, indoors and out, and back on watch. Is it just this one person? No. no. Oh, okay. There's four assassins, and there's, they're all super powerful. There's Yasha, who you met before. She's the really tall girl with... Wait, Yasha's working with the... Not well, intentionally, not she's being trashed. She Brawl, might have been right. evil the whole time, we just no, didn't know. No, she's not. Her. She's good, and she's being mind-controlled. Nah, she probably she and, She's no. being mind-controlled. Yeah. <laughs> See, that that there is usually some... Uh, that's some of the magic that I can dabble in. I don't oh, really? choose to, but it's similar kind of realms of uh, arcane specialties. Have you ever heard of a thing on the back of the neck? Something that glows. I can't remember like the a, color. Like a, like a... Was it red? Was it glowing red? I can't remember. I can't remember. As Jester, I, I can't orange. remember. Was it orange? orange? Red? It was kind of like, orange. A, like an orange kind of. It looked almost like a, a cigarette. Like I said, the cigarette. Oh yeah, that's light right. Light. Um, it's like uh, I mean. Oh, we can draw it for me. And he pulls out a little oh, thing. I will draw, draw you a really right. good depiction of it. <laughs> Make a dexterity check. Oh, ma. <laughs> I'm scared to roll tonight. No, no, no. You're out of combat. It's going to be great. No, it won't. No, it won't. No, it won't. <laughs> Everything's bad. Wait, the whole wait, world bless. sucks. I bless you. I already you. rolled, man. <laughs> What'd you get? I rolled a six. Aw. Correct. So Pumat can't. He, he looks at it. He's ah, I'm not sure particularly what what this is. It's definitely a glyph, but if it's some sort of mind control thing, then there are limitations. To that kind of uh, enchantment. How long has uh, she been under this, this individual's Weeks, influence? Months. Oh, that's a powerful one. Um, can it be dispelled that? with yeah. with some sort of spell? Or? Most magic can be dispelled. Oh, that's you just gotta. Using it on multiple people. With it, wait, multiple people? He's also working with um, a creature called the Laughing Hand. Big, uh, blobby, terrible looking thing. That sounds real mouths. bad. He's got Not like a, a, a giant blade on his arm and he's oh, got great. lots of mouths all, all over covered him. Covered in mouths. Like wow, that's a, that's, that's a delightful image for this And the chick that day. you just saw. Yeah. And then the main guy is like, um, he's a devil and he's got wings. His name's Oban. So they're all controlling this Yasha girl? 
Not all of them. Obon is controlling Obon. all of them? Mm-hmm. Well, at least lock Yasha. Obon's got something maybe on all of them. Well, maybe there's a chance of dispelling or getting rid of it, but you probably got to be able to see it to do that. That's you don't happen to have any um, well, we can dispelling maybe. stones, do you? <laughs> we had one, but Ford used it. Effectively. Well, how do many you, you guys can dispel? Okay. All right, you okay. got you guys some uh, some, some, some sound uh, sound opportunities there. Um, that maybe, might work. Maybe we should find right. Yasha and try to get her out. To like a stealth, like we go on the offensive. We try to. And we just like all of us all at once hit like three dispels on her. Yeah, get out while right. while all they're sleeping. Change the odds. Fair. Get her back. Do you think the rest side. of them are in the city? Do you think they're in Zadash? I will definitely be I'm able to scry. Sure. Um, well, I used both my fifth levels on booping. Come on, how's your scry? I'm booping. Well, I mean, I, mean uh, <laughs> I don't, I don't really have it prepared. I don't have to usually do that, but uh, with the night's rest, I can probably go ahead and get that situated. You, uh, I mean, if we're looking for information to follow, folks, we should probably double up on as many, uh, any sort of distant eye peering as we can. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Yeah. That's uh, double up. That's smart. Why don't we go into the back room or upstairs, somewhere a little bit not in the front of the store? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Pumats, go ahead and close up and lock up. We're going to go ahead and head into the uh, ye old enchantment chamber. Oh, oh. Is that what it's really called? Well, that's what I call it. I was call it my bedroom. Oh. <laughs> well, we get to see his comic book collection. <laughs> That yeah, like <laughs> <laughs> um, so it leads into the back chamber. It is Whoa, it cool is, CD tower. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, I haven't even seen the laser disc section yet. It's a uh, <laughs> great tribe called Quest. Awesome. Right. Right. I see you're a gavel and I taste. Um, so uh, it leads into the back room. It's cluttered, like like ceiling to floor. Everything is organized. It doesn't look like it's. Um, you know, a hoarder's chamber by any means, but but every bit of space is used. You can see that there's a, there's a table arranged with a whole bunch of like clamps and small arcane uh, devices that are used in the process of enchanting different types of materials and items. You can see there's small clusters of, of uh, things that are used in that process, both to uh, to begin to trigger and, and and you know inscribe and permanently create these rituals that produce these items over time. Um, but you guys all kind of get in the back room and kind of closes the curtains like. All right, so what, you want, what, what's, what are we doing here now? Detect magic. No, I'm just See <laughs> <laughs> uh, Well, we can't scry, right, Mr. Ducey? You can't? Uh, not right now. So nobody can do no. that right now. Right we now. could all go to sleep, I guess. What time is it? Did we come in here in the morning? It's, it's the day. It's like midday, like, like early afternoon. I think we should definitely <coughs> take a rest, right? Is everybody yeah. here? Of course, would of like course. To rest, but I don't know if the Pumats would want us to invite Further danger here. I think it might be best that we maybe sleep in different places. Different places, if if, if they're going after you guys specifically. I, I mean, maybe. respectfully, maybe not be sleeping sleep uh, so close. Place. Are there are four beds in here, That's a good or idea. are there? Is there one? There's big one bed, bed, and there's is there, oh, but the uh, oh. the simulacrum sleep upstairs. Hmm. So they do sleep. So you can also sleep yeah. So got my room. They've already gotten in there before, though. We could sleep with the gentlemen's. They can get in anywhere. Aside from the crafting uh, materials, is there anything on the walls that just sort of stick out as like particularly crazy or interesting or rare? Make a perception check. Could look into it. A 12. Uh, 12, I mean, look around, you have no idea what There's most of this does. A lot of it's just odd canisters that are labeled, uh, but the labels have been kind of rubbed off over time and just at a glance, you can't really read them from this distance. Um, you can see that there's some uh, you know, pouches and things that look like they contain elements, but you can't really see what they are. No um, says kill stick or anything? No. Okay. Um, you gather there's probably quite a lot of worth in this room and just raw materials that are, you know, that allow these enchantments to be inscribed, but you have no real knowledge of specifically what anything does in here. Caleb, mm. should we offer to, you know, like compensate the souls mm. for like the damage and trouble we caused them? Yes, that seems fair. Can we help you? 
make up for any uh, problems we've caused for you, at least well, to Greece. That, that's easy to clean up. I mean, it's not like you uh, burned it down or anything. Well, there was a bit of acid on the floor, but... And grease. Uh, that's mine. No, the grease is gone. Grease is gone. Just, just evaporated? Yeah, it just... You know what? It gives it character. Don't worry about it. I can just move the rug over a little bit and no one will be any wiser. It's a good rug. It really, really ties the room together. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Hey, Pumat. Yeah? How much for this shield that I'm using? You're going after this uh, Chain Oblivion, right? Yeah. 5,000 gold. <laughs> Go ahead and take it. Yeah! Really? Yes. Oh my gosh, what does it look like? Uh, you look at it, 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 ha it has like a, uh, like a, a red leather like inlay over the top of it, and there's a bunch of these brass studs that kind of poke through. Um, it doesn't look extremely detailed, it, but it's pretty, and it, uh, it's, aside from you holding it, has not seen any combat use. So it, <gasps> it could very well look on a wall. You know, it's like a nice. I run over for... and give him a hug. Oh, <laughs> thank you so much. Oh, I, I, at least I can do you. You know, get me safe. I mean, you brought it here, so yeah, it all comes out in the wash. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right. We're here, yeah. Yeah, go ahead and I guess get your rest about you. Maybe come on by tomorrow and we'll all see if we can find a quiet space here. Maybe not in the middle uh, of uh, the chamber and see if we can ascertain any information about where this figure or the others might be. Yeah. So we are not taking a sit down and rest here. We're taking here. a short rest no, here. Somewhere short else. Rest. Somewhere else? So we don't draw attention to him. But like a, a short rest here, but a long rest somewhere else, right? We're, we need right. it. We do need an hour yeah, to just... different things. Yeah. Doing a short rest, not here. Oh. Right? I thought a short rest. Oh my here. god. Oh my god. I think he said to me we should leave. Okay, oh. so we'll stay here for an hour. <laughs> yeah, oh that's fine. Just uh <laughs> he reaches into like under the table and like into a little box and pulls something out and kind of affixes it onto the front of his robe. Okay. I mean uh, I'll just stay in the uh, just do it like on the other side of the room. Oh, no problem. Yeah. You recognize the brooch specifically. Yeah. It's similar to the one you have. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's, uh, I mean, just because I'm a little nervous walking out this door if we're not at full health. Everybody keep their backs to walls. Okay. Uh, well, if if we have just freeloaded our way into a short rest here, I'm going to do arcane recovery. Take a short rest roll. if you'd like. Short rest it is. Okay. Tip All right. You guys make your way to Pumax in the Penta Market. Uh, the sign outside is closed still. So pretty. Um, so you approach in the door. Mm. Oh no. You're knocking? <laughs> no, 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 no. Is it about. Should it be open by now? Yeah, usually. Oh no. God. Do not kill Pumax. I will be so soul. bad. I will kill you. Uh, I pull out um, the little <laughs> copper wire mm -hmm. and say, uh, Puma Prime, we, your friends, the Mighty Nine, are here. Are you possibly at home? Yeah, just getting a few oh, things together here. Oh, just uh... <laughs> nobody needs that. <laughs> Fuck. Matthew Mercer. Damn I'll send one of the others down here. Get the door for you. Eventually, the door opens up, and Pumat, one of the Pumats, is there. Goes, "Welcome and good morning. Come on in. We were uh, told to keep the place kind of, you know, free of any other foot traffic based on the intent of the day. Come on in." Still, it's Jastra. I hope you don't mind us imposing. Is it all right if we come upstairs? Um, we need a bit of privacy for a sure. moment. Sure. We hate to impose. I haven't heard the other one talk before. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Normally, she doesn't. I'm learning. We could take tips from you. Right, all right, come on in. <laughs> so right. you guys come in. The center table's been moved, and you can see there's like a space for scrying already mm. set in the center mm. of the floor. Cool. You can see the uh, the this beautiful crystal ball. Like you know, the, like the, the focus you use for your scry is, you know, very very pretty. But this is this is a very 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 nice like show model, if you will. Um, Set there, and you can see a Puma is kind of in the process of setting things. All right, yeah, that's uh, so uh, you're alive, that's good. Guess it means the thing's not following you too far behind, right? Less than 24 hours. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, we are uh, were hoping uh, to elicit your aid to find our friend, but before we do that, we have a side 
task. Do you mind if I set up shop in the corner for a moment? I have to inspect some things. Sure. Yeah? Yeah. Um, uh, not the brave. Yes! Would you come over here with me? Yes! So, in a moment I'm going to uh, see if there is anything of uh, an arcane nature to worry about, but could you just check for your run-of-the-mill of course. physical guidance. traps? I always check for traps. On the envelope? Guide, guide. On the envelope. Why not? 29. Oh, 29. Plus a d4. <laughs> Ooh. 33. Holy shit. That envelope is fucking not trapped. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you are so sure. We're all dead. <laughs> Good to go. Okay, so I uh, turn my back to the Pumats and his setup, put the envelope down on the ground, pull out my uh, spell book, open it up to the correct page, and spend the next 10 minutes uh, ritual casting to detect magic on it, just okay. in case. <laughs> it's a fucking it's like letter. It's a fucking letter. Uh, it's fine. Yeah, but you I mean, take 10 minutes, you finish. It is 10 minutes. not magical. Okay. Rubber gloves. <laughs> Burn it just what does it say? What does The it YouTube say? unboxing of the letter. <laughs> All right, let's read it. Uh, the group sees hey. a little flash. Oh. The group. That we have a, we have a knife, by the way, if we want to lock the front door, like oh. really lock it. Oh, good call. Although it can come through the floor, but That's yes. True. So my back is to the group, but they see a little, and yep. uh, Frumpkin walks around and just sits behind me, staring at the group. Okay. Uh, and I will read this out loud, even though I'm just reading it in my head. Okay. To the attention of Mrs. Slavor, not and brave. I have received this letter on behalf of my elder mentors of the Soltris Academy. This is a curious bit of fortune, it would seem. I have not spoken with my uncle for quite some time, and while I am sad to hear of his passing, I am also quite interested to hear about this inheritance and the circumstances surrounding oh his death. I can be reached at the 31st Woadstone Manor on the northeastern end of the Shimmer Ward of Raxentron. Shimmer the Empire. I want to go there. I travel often, so I should not so should I not be present, present this letter to any present servants and stay within the visitor quarters as our guest. I will return within a day. Astrid. This is great. We have an invitation to Rexentrum. Read out loud. Yeah, that was just for the benefit of you all <laughs> and the audience. What does it say? <laughs> <laughs> Well, your ruse perhaps has worked. Maybe. Really? Maybe. What does it say? Uh, my old friend has said that you could come to meet her at her <laughs> home in Rexentrum to explain an inheritance. Oh, yeah. It was very it, clever. Yeah, we told her she got a lot of money and stuff. You can't go there. Well, oh. yes, we can. If you have a letter inviting us, we'll give us safe passage. Yes, but there's no inheritance. She doesn't know that. We didn't specify what. It could be uh, this it jade be, necklace. Or it could something. be Apple at that hideous mask that I bought. That it could be this. It's uh, red, so you don't know. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. Her, oh, uncle. Right. Oh, God. Her uncle's an asshole. I put the mask on. That's all she got. He had a good life. Do I know the Shimmer Ward from Rexon? You do, actually. It's the central portion of the city. Um, it's deftly walled in, mm -hmm. um, surrounds Castle uh, Unkbrock, which is where the. Say that one more time. Uh, can we find the map for you? Unkbrock? You would have this. Um, castle, uh, yeah, Unkbrock. Ungabrog. I'm probably messing up the pronunciation. Yeah, Ungabrog. Um, you would, you, you've been to Brexit, mm -hmm. so you can have this. Okay. Um, Ooh, but the Shimmer Ward is the central kind of Pentagon like. Uh, yeah, Ungabrog. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Um, it, no, it's Shimmer Ward is also where the candles are. Mm -hmm. The candles are the towers of the Cerberus Assembly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. So that would mean that she is well off doing well in the center of the city. Living seem that there. based yeah. on the letter, yeah. And and 
that is nobility, government, academy, uh, uh, assembly, go ahead. Actually, you would know this. The address that's given there is a manor that exists on the grounds of Trent Ikathon's tower. So I, I recognize the address? You do. In fact, you're pretty sure all the, the handful of buildings that exist on that plot are all owned by Trent. It's like a cult leader. Or, or a landlord. What the fuck? This is magical. Well, um... <laughs> yeah, you got two. <laughs> don't know, um... My friends, just do me a favor and maybe don't write any more letters to my, um, old school chums, okay? Not a problem. You, yeah. me you, you meant well, I know. Thank you. At the time, we... I, I just wanted to get you connected with people in your life. And she seemed so special. She was. Does it look like her handwriting? Yeah. Does it smell like perfume? No. Is there like a, do you like me, check this box sort of a thing? I don't think that box is here. Well, that's an option, though, if we get to Wrexham Shore. So, Pumat, I think we are ready to uh, look into our friends. Scry guy! Alrighty, let me just go ahead, I got that spell ready here. We're looking at uh, your friend, uh, your friend Yasha, right? The, the one who was uh, mm -hmm. the kind of pale face, kind of burly looking badass, that one? Yeah. Alrighty. Let's well, use that. Uh, who wants to go not first? Not kidding about. Let's use that knife. I'll scry on her first. For the door. All right. Yeah. Not has it. Not. Oh. You're planning to scry anybody else. I don't know who they are. So. Okay. Oh. It's the only person I know. Who else so. are we going to scry on? Yeah. Well, let's oh. see if Yasha works. Oh. Say, the do you want me? I can... end, you could scry on them because you saw them. All oh, right. Ooh, yeah. Think... All right. Should we do that first? I sure we should do cool. Yasha yeah. to begin. Yasha to begin? Yes, to see what state she's in, to see if okay, she's in. If she has yeah. done Yasha before, the inevitable burn could be insanely hard to look at and on. Hey, whatever works for you guys. I'm just Let's having a host. Let's start with Yasha. Maybe, maybe Pumat should do it then. I can go on my fifth level. Okay, sure, sure. Whatever you I'm prefer. Gonna, I'm going to throw guidance at Pumat as well. Pumat. Kayla walks up to watch and just plants his hand on Nott's shoulder and gives it a okay. gentle squeeze. Pumat, when you're looking in on her, yeah. look at her eyes, okay? Just try to see how she's feeling. And pay attention to her neck. <laughs> and if Oban touches her at all. And if you see any lightning Just, I think he's going to be quite observant. Oh, that's been noted in the old noggin. Okay. All righty. Boomats, get around. <clears throat> Not to make you jealous. <laughs> well, I can't do magic anymore. They only get spells once, so they're just more of my hands here. So I'm the spellcaster. They're just, you're my associate. Oh. Mm. They're like, yeah, you know, I mean, there are elements of missing it, I guess, but, uh, well. Uh, we're just happy to help, and he seems to do most of the pulling. Everyone goes, <laughs> anyway, continue. Like, yeah, of course, no worries. All right. <clears throat> Plus, we make a mean a cappella group. <laughs> oh, oh, I bet. <laughs> Does not have good tune. Uh, <laughs> he concentrates on this large crystal sphere that has this, like, gold leaf lattice that kind of curls up around it. It looks almost like a, like a intricately carved geometric nest that kind of builds up around like two thirds of the actual sphere. As he focuses on it, the eyes close, the eyes open once more and they're just clouded over. You have like a, a memory flash of when you first met Shakasta with that snow blind look. As he quietly focuses. <laughs> focus for a bit and starts talking loud. Need to make her save. All right, she's uh, 
She's walking. She's walking. She's got some companions around. They're all kind of cloaked right now. It's a bit of a bit of rainfall. Where are they? Open a mist down. There's a. There, that's a big cell. Oh, they're walking up to Rexentrum. <gasps> they're in Rexentrum. Trying to get a look at her eyes there. They're focused. Is her neck glowing? Yeah, her neck. Guidance. <laughs> uh, I can't see, unfortunately. Cloak's kind of blocking it all. Ah. Uh. Sorry, here's a big one with them. Does the big one look weak? It's a big, I don't know, it's, I, I can't get a good look at it. I'm focused on Yasha. It's, uh, it's big though. I wonder what would happen if I scribed at the same time on the laughing hand. How weird would that be? I'm going to do it. That'd be pretty <laughs> weird. At the inevitable end or the laughing hand? Which one? The inevitable end. I'm going to scry on the inevitable end, I guess. <laughs> Hey, I'm gonna live in my hand laughing hand. Hey, I'm gonna live in my hand laughing hand. Yeah, we are laughing hand. Hold on, the laughing hand. Until the diamond in the last row. Until the diamond in the last row. Ten minutes. So yours will end by the time, his will end by the time yours starts. He's like, all right, they're uh, they're approaching uh, pushing the outer gates. Oh, it's raining hard. Uh, Maybe I There's a guard questioning them. Oh, oh, they're, oh no. no, they're gonna kill that guard. Oh, All right, now the guard lets him in. Oh, because he manipulated the guard. He can charm people. All right, now they're entering the city. Man, I haven't been to Rex Trim in a while. It's real. Do, they, real do you big. see a woman with red hair and dark elf looking features? Do you see yeah. the inevitable yeah. end? I, I, there's, there's only so much radius around. Uh, the boom. <laughs> and she has a fourth trail in him. Oh god, it's her. Yeah. <laughs> well, at least you know she's not going to attack us here. I'm, I'm, I'm getting a little nervous. I'm gonna. Uh, he blinks his eyes. Sorry, kind of crept up on me there. It was getting a little uncomfortable uh, after what happened yesterday. Are they talking at all? No, oh, they were pretty quiet. Just making Turn their way. Rex yeah. and Trump. Why are they going after Rex and Trump? Maybe they're reporting back to their. Bosses, or at the Soldiers Academy, oh, Cerberus Assembly. Is there anyone else? That's pretty much all of them. For I mean, that was kind of what we were looking for that was great. in one try. It was excellent job describing it, by the way. Well done. Of course, yeah. Is it just like a small cult? Then is it just the four of them? I mean, they're really know. powerful. <clears throat> you might be meeting. Oh, who people. knows? Wouldn't there be meeting, meeting like events. a whole cult meeting right now? What if the Soulless Academy is Maybe the I should, angel should I try scrying on Vents? Yes. Yeah, see if he's in Rexentrum too. Well, when we last spoke with Ormit Haas, he said that Vents is in Rexentrum. Do it on a mission for Ludinus. 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 <laughs> Luminous. Luminous. <laughs> yeah, do it. Like a little Chris. Okay. Oh. We should get ready. Luminous. We should get ready to go to the Cobalt Soul and, and bamf over to Rex and Trump. We need to be at the Cobalt Soul to get there, or can we do no, it from we can anywhere? Do it from anywhere. Oh, right. We bamf into the Cobalt Soul. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. okay. I'm no, going to scry. Can, we can send a message. I'm going to scry on Vents? On, on Vents. Right? Or on Ludinus. No, Vents? Vents, because Ludinus will like. block it. Want it. Yeah, yeah, he's too powerful. I'm trying. Yeah? Maybe and see if he's like meeting up with them or something? Or in the city at the Actually, very they least. give it like tap five minutes and then see if maybe they're, he, they're, he's on the move too? Just out of curiosity, we know now that, well, I mean, would Trent, Trent Ikithon be someone that we want no, to start? No, 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 he would block it. Don't bother. I would give it maybe, just or maybe give it an hour to let them get together. Vesterogna? They're all going to be able to block it. They all have this thing that Caleb But Vents won't. Oh, Caleb, do you remember the approximate time that it would take to walk from the gates to Yeah, of course I do. It would be about... Uh, at, a, at a casual pace, it would take... Uh, wait, to where? To which part in the city? Well, from where uh, they to were. To wherever Vents, King Dwendal, wherever... Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, that size, dense city, recently after a festival, I'd say probably... 
at most an hour. So I should wait like 30 minutes and do it. Maybe we should go there now. Yeah, I was saying, are we not trying to get there now? We should get there now. Have you been preparing a scry during this time? I'm just I was, but then as soon as when you said it, it would be ended, I was like, oh, never mind. The fun of it was to be scrying at the same time. Right, right. So you're not scrying on vents. What are you guys doing? Not this second, because they're, they're not. Our chances of, of landing on them with your eyes at the right moment are slim. But if we do it right now, they've just walked into the city. He's not waiting for them there, so maybe give them some time to wind their way in and get where they're going. Maybe we should get over to the. Cobalt Soul? Yeah, yeah, we should yes, bend we'll there the and then I'll scry. Pass the time on the way to the soul, and then we could get there and you can scry. Oh, God. What? what? Can't scry from the soul? No, I'm stuck. I'm nervous about going home. Oh. Sure. I think we know where they are, though. We should take advantage of this, yes? I, I trust you. I trust you guys. And the we had that. Just this is the first time we've been ahead of them. In running in again. Well, that's what I was about to say. Before we do this, why don't we head back to the soul? I can check in with Xenoff, then we can check in with Keith the Doc over at the Rex and Trump branch, and maybe get a little bit of backup. Let Diren know we're going to go there. Mm. Yeah. She can help, going. they can help. Maybe we change our clothes out of this, <laughs> out of these Jorhasian clothes? We've already changed. Oh, great. You do also know that you can use the teleportation circles at the Cobalt Soul and not Save cost spell. a spell slot. Ooh. Yeah. Let's do that. Why so, and we can let everybody who needs to know where we're going, because we have a lot of yeah. people now. Let's yeah, let everybody move. know what's okay. about to happen. We're trusting in allies. Yeah, we We're should let Ordnus know. Hmm. Great. The Taldori Let's Council. Go. Pumat, thank all you. It's been a hell of a two days. I'm afraid we're going to take our leave now. Well, all right, no worries. All right, guys, close up the shop. And he reaches over and grabs a bag from behind the counter. Where are you going? Are you going with us? Well, I figure you probably needed some help if you're doing oh. stuff. Oh. Yeah. Yes, we do. <laughs> Absolutely. Should I not? Like, oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. oh my gosh, yeah. come with us! Oh no my idea. gosh! It, are you are you coming or all of you? Well, no, they're not much help. <laughs> this, I need them to continue to run the shop. No, I still got to make my money. Yeah, I mean, it's it, they know what to decide. Like, uh, respectfully, uh, that is very generous of you. Well, this is some real dangerous dung you've stepped in, right? Like, yeah, this is gonna to affect sign all this. This bit. waiver right here, yeah, if you would. Um, <clears throat> not a fan of signing paperwork. I haven't had a chance to thoroughly read, yeah. respectfully. <laughs> Understand this. Smart. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. All right. Wow. <sighs> this is big. Oh fuck! I'm not going anywhere. All right. Pumat's turn. Pumat's now being we flanked by do. two guys, and is like. All right, this is problematic. Uh, and he's going to go ahead and begin to cast a spell. As he reaches back behind, there's a, a, a short sword in his sheath behind him, and as he pulls it out, he begins casting, buttering under his breath, and you watch as suddenly his body begins to swell in size. You watch his muscles kind of He grows about three feet oh, taller. I've been mean, hoping to say it, keep going. And his his I'm robe kind of pulls Hulk so style to the edges yeah. of his body. His short sword now suddenly <laughs> emits this kind of force energy around it. <laughs> and Pumat is now hulked out Whoa. between the two of them. Can, can, do, we, do we want to say it together? Three, two, one. Pumat swole. Thank you. <laughs> I'm sitting on that for so you. long, hoping there'd be a reason. He gains 50 temporary hit points. Oh, oh what the shit. fuck is this? It's just a spell called Transformation. Oh my god. <laughs> Whoa. He's going to swing towards the, the cultist to his left with the short sword. 50? He's straight up Andre the Giant. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, my 15, that hits. So he's going to deal. Six plus oh, got six it. Plus got two. It. Eight points of slashing damage plus fifteen points of force damage. And just yeah. scatters that cultist to one side, spins to swing against the other one. Force misses the other one. Whoosh. But you see Pumat just like completely disintegrate one of them with a blow, and the other one he swings wide, the other guy goes. Freaks out and just turns toward the. Don't worry, I got this. <laughs> <laughs> and 
he's going to move here and just kind of like spin to turn his way in that direction of the battle. Pumat's turn. Uh, yeah, Pumat's kind of seeing you guys are looking rugged. Rugged sees everyone rushing through and goes like, "Hey, there's more guys coming. Uh, I'll take care of this. You go ahead." <laughs> <laughs> and he's going to go ahead and like move his hands like this, and as he does, you watch wind. until a whirlwind suddenly pulls up in the middle of the chamber and begins to carve across this way. Off to the side, you can see there's a few other uh, uh, crowns guard that are in the process of tending to their own wounds. And on the ground, you can see there's one person who has finished bandaging a very, very hurt Pumat's soul. Um, as you approach, you see him lying on the ground, bandages all over. Half one eye is covered with a bandage. You can see there's kind of blood spray on him. And the eye kind of flickers open a bit and turns in your direction. Uh, oh, hey, hey there. <laughs> I rush over and take his hand. Yeah, oh, oh, oh. I'm sorry. Oh, hey, Nelly, I was, I was worried about you folks. What about us? <laughs> Happy We're to see your faces. You. All right. I'm okay. I figured there's buggers were coming from somewhere. So uh, seeing them portals in the towers, I just, uh, I, uh, I, yeah, I managed to find that, that metal thingy and smash it. <laughs> we're good too. It stopped coming through. <laughs> you were really, really big. That was real cool. Would you like a healing potion? Well, yeah, well, I would not, you know, be against it. <laughs> I will heal Pumat for oh. Oh. Mm. Oh. Plus. six plus four, I think, right? Oh. Ten. Yeah. That's Heals ten. a lot of money. Ten. He, he probably <laughs> made this one. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you, Blame him. You, brought him from, you, you brought him from stabilized and barely conscious to at least somewhat more like lucid. Kind of leans him a bit. <sighs> oh. Wow, thank you very much there, uh, little uh, not. Lady, yeah, right? It's not. Yeah. Uh, right. Yeah. Sorry, I kind of got overwhelmed a little bit. Uh, thankfully, these Cobalt Soul folks arrived and helped me out of a real jam. Well, it was all kinds of close. Did you. Did you. You must have killed a dozen or so. I lost count after like the first 20. Whoa! That sounds wow. about right. You're a maniac! That's pretty amazing. You're a hero. Come on. Yeah, just. Uh, just helping out. It's been a while since I've uh, got the flexy old poo muscles, you know? <laughs> <laughs> the poo muscles? Poo mad muscles. That's, uh, that's not, that's not <laughs> what you're Just combining the two words, you know? It's, it's yeah, no, don't ever say muscles. that again. Yeah. I mean, I like it, but I don't think <laughs> that means something else. You like uh, the poo muscle? I think it's a good word. Right. Turn to the field, you got a taste for adventure again? Or? No. Yeah. Yeah. No. Nah, no. Nah, I, I think I'm pretty happy staying where I've been. I'm gonna. I'm gonna just rest now. I'm just yeah. gonna. There you go. Yeah. It's, been, it's been crazy below. Did, did you see anyone in charge since you've been up here? Charge of a. Uh, you mean that one? Kind of points over, and you can see standing at the doors where you would exit. Um, you see a. Uh, let's be a half elf uh, woman. Uh, Olive skin, dark brown eyes, and short jet black hair. Her helmet off to the side, and she is wearing righteous brand armor. But the insignia on it, the uh, the trim, and the uh, the design of the the red cape that's thrown over one shoulder signifies a higher rank than a standard soldier. And as Pumat points, uh, she's in the process of talking to two folks and looks over in your direction and starts making a walk towards you. And as that happens, Pumat's hand goes down and goes like, "Okay, it's sleepy time." That's okay. well, friend. Just goes right to sleep. Yeah. You see the familiar sight of the dark green and gold painted abode that is the Invulnerable Vagrant. As you approach and open the door, yeah, you see it's not busy. There's no other customers in there. Uh, it looks as maybe a little less empty than it did last time you visited. It's you know a lot of the materials, magical items that he did were conscripted for the for the army's use uh, by the Cerberus Assembly. It looks like he's slowly either are requiring or has been creating in the interim 
but as you enter and look about and see the few elements of restocking that is slowly making its way back to the brilliance of the previous uh, Invulnerable Vagance presentation, you hear that familiar voice go, Hey, welcome to the Invulnerable Vagrant. I just... Oh my goodness! Look at all, there's a fine bunch of friends here coming in to say hello. Oh, oh, ah. <laughs> Respectfully, I am just completely elated to see your faces. How are you, Fumat? Well, I much better now looking up on your fantastic blue visage. <laughs> We've missed you. Whoa, oh, golly, you're just gonna make me turn bright purple. <laughs> uh, good to see a friendly face again. <laughs> you as well, tall fella. How's, how's peacetime treating you? Well, much better now. <laughs> Putting together uh, a few ideas of my own. Been trying to, you know, piecemeal some more uh, enchantments, because it's, uh, it's kind of what I do. Well, let, let, let's see what it is. Yeah, what, what you're working on? We're, we're, we are flush with cash and ready to spend, in addition to spend time with you. I regret to inform you, we don't have any basilisk oil yet, as we haven't encountered any basilisks. Oh, and that's completely fine. Uh, by the way, I'm sorry, I don't think we've uh, made our acquaintances yet. My name oh. is Apumat Soul. Oh. Wow. Oh, hi. Uh, you do know me. Um, uh, I, I was not. But now I am Veth. I'm, I, I was not, but now I'm Veth. Uh, this face, and I make Nott's face. Well, Veth, it's an absolute pleasure to, to re-meet you and uh, the right version. Yeah, exactly. And this is, um, well, this is my... This is Caleb. Caleb has turned into this man. <laughs> and this little one over here used to be Yasha. No, I'm just, I'm just fucking with you. This is yes. Well, I'm about to say, I missed out on a lot of information. Whoa. <laughs> this is uh, my husband, Yeza, and my son, Luke. And this is his first time here, or uh, I think- Luke is already like up on the counter, like, whoa, there's four of them. You can see the other ones are kind of like peeking around the corner. Hey, 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 hey. Around the corner. Whoa, hey. <laughs> I'm just gonna pick up Luke and hold him so that he can see everything. Whoa! He's like, whoa! <laughs> As he goes, ah, oh, it's a, it's a pleasure to meet you. I, I've heard quite a few things. Uh, you know, being a, a practitioner of, of of certain sort of uh, challenging craft myself. All right, really? Well, uh, what's your chosen uh, skill set, if I might ask? Wait, wait! Don't tell me. By the, uh, the studious look in your eyes, but the somewhat calloused, uh, fingertips there, I'd say you delve in some form of, um, perhaps alchemy? <laughs> That's yes. exactly right! He's a chemist and a, and a damn fine one! If, if you have anything you need to have him, uh, you, you know, chemistry up, <laughs> feel free to ask! Yeah, yeah, pl please! Uh, it's, I haven't been able to practice in a while, so I'm excited at that prospect. Well, yeah, totally! I mean, let's be fair, uh, most of my suppliers of baseline potions that I use for some of my personal creations tend to upcharge me a bit, so it'd be nice to have a little more of a direct wholesale relationship. <laughs> awesome. So, anyway, uh, what, yeah, what you looking for? It depends on what you have. You always have such interesting items. What are your, what are your featured items currently? Well, you know, still sort of getting myself back up in uh, the swing of things. Uh, Got a couple of uh, fairly decent potions returned back unused from the front lines of battle. Oh, oh. And he pulls out uh, one vial. It's like, a, you can see the crystal, but the leather is wrapped tightly around it. You can't really see the contents, and it has like a little uh, loop so it can be thrown over her shoulder and kind of worn there. It's a big vial. It's got a, a fair amount of liquid in it. Um, and he goes ahead and unsnaps the sides and pulls it open so you can see the liquid. It's this kind of, uh, kind of viscous, almost bourbon-looking brown liquid with an object floating in the bottom that as he swirls it, it kind of like swirls quick and then slows down. It looks, it looks almost like a, like a crescent. It's about that big and it just kind of floats around the, the bottom like a, like a crescent moon. What is that? This here? Uh, this, is, uh, this is a fingernail. Gross. Oh. Stone giant. Oh. From a stone giant? Yeah, but don't ask me how I got it. I just had to pay some guy. Does it, does it give you the stone giant's strength? 
for a short time. That oh. indeed it does, my uh, astute halfling friend. Wow. Holy shit. So, I uh, got that one there for you. Uh, that one will run you about it. Uh, we'll see. Mm, he goes and looks at his books here. Put that at about uh, 1,500 gold pieces. Ooh. But it puts you up at a mighty, mighty amount of strength for about an hour. Okay. Wow. wow. Okay. I uh, got another one of these, same batch, not used, and pulls up a, a similar type uh, arrangement, same leather strap. Looks like these were all meant to be carried into battle and can quickly uh, drink and easy to access. Uh, this one here is kind of a, a special enhancement to one's physical uh, quickness and capabilities for a short time. Okay. A very short time, much shorter than the strength-based one, but uh, it's uh, referred to as a potion of haste. Oh, shit. <laughs> how, how much is that? Quanto questo? Yeah, uh, that, that one will run you about, uh, we'll say... We'll say about 1,100. Okay, okay. Next, and this is something I was dabbling with. I hope you, hope you have some fun time with this. I think even the little one there would kind of have fun. <laughs> and he goes in this back room and starts looking around for a second. He's like, yeah. Hey, uh, boom at three, uh, looking for the, uh, you know, the, he's like, oh, don't worry, boss, I'll get it right for you. <laughs> he goes out to the back room, comes back, and there is this uh, really beautiful looking kind of crushed velvet blue kind of cape and um, uh, almost like a cape shawl combo, very like kind of uh, Victorian London looking with like a, a deep red interior. And he goes ahead and hands it over to Pumat Prime, who takes it and puts it around her shoulders, kind of clasps it on and goes, I call this. And he kind of like poses and the cape <laughs> and like flutters behind them and what? just looks epic. Call this here a cloak of billowing. Of billowing? Of billowing. Yeah. Does it allow <laughs> you to strike dramatic poses? It will. <laughs> My friend, that's exactly what it does. <laughs> You're, you're... Yeah, watch! <laughs> Does it again. <laughs> Does it again. Whenever you want. It just gives you the Batman pose? Does it help yeah. your charismatic abilities? <laughs> amazing. I mean, in the Holy sense that people shit. can't take their eyes off you yeah, when you're just looking you, like, that amazing. Charismatic yeah. pump or something. Charisma pump. <laughs> they that's, can't take their eyes off you? Someone... I mean, if they're a, you know, a lame individual, maybe, <laughs> or not a fan of very cool-looking people, but... Uh, so it's just cool-looking. How much? How much is it? Yeah, uh, that one will run you yeah, about seventy-five gold pieces. Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah, That's literally all it does. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. It just looks cool. Amazing. That's amazing. <laughs> Cloak of billowing. <laughs> Takes a bonus action to do it, but you can do it as many times as you want. It's no. There's no. It's it's literally just yeah. to look cool. Yeah. I love amazing. it so much. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. We got it. It's in, it's in our inventory. <laughs> No way. Uh, oh I, I was also kind of curious. How long does it take to enchant an item, like in general? Like, oh, it sort of depends on the extent of the enchantment. Because uh, simple things can be done in a few days, maybe under a week. Uh, more extensive ones, oh, well, they take a lot longer. And uh, unless you pay more, in which case, you know, we can get all the pool mats in on it. Enchantments can be done a little quicker. But once again, still limited by the scope of what you're trying to accomplish. <laughs> hmm. Well, I was uh, yeah, I was looking at my armor, and I've kind of been wearing this this for a while, and I thought maybe giving it a bit of a, I don't know, a pick me up. A pick me up. Yeah. Like, if you had any ideas of just something to do to this thing, other than just maybe enchant it, or uh, the the one thing is we are leaving town in a week. Already? Well, uh, yeah. where where are you heading off to, if I could ask? Cold, cold climate place. So if you have anything specifically for the cold environs, that would that would be of great assistance. Mm. Well, yeah, there's there's scopes there. I could do a real simple enchantment that'll just uh, help keep you comfortable in all sorts of cold environments. Make sure you don't have to deal with any of that frozen landscape sort of problems there. That'll that'll be an easy hundred gold enchantment, and I can do that in a, probably a day and a half with these guys. Help. Uh, anything fancier you think, or is that fancier? Yeah. In the same vein? In the possibly the same vein. I, I mean, I can give it a much more uh, involved enchantment there. <laughs> kind of make it a uh, actually. Involved fist up the butt. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, no, I was just more for emphasis. I wasn't actually <laughs> making. 
Uh, yeah, well, well, that sorry, wasn't misunderstood. Uh, yeah, that that uh, that would have to be a very consensual thing. <laughs> Caduceus, were you looking for something for more protection as well? Oh, uh, possibly more protection, possibly from something. cold. Hmm. From cold, or just uh, protection from everything. Actually, from anything in general, we don't really know what we're going to, other than, like, we're going to be seeing some crazy magic, we're going to be seeing some cold. Okay, uh, okay, well, uh, let me see here, then. If that's what you're looking for, I can just give yourself a basic enchantment, just a, we'll say, give it a little more of an offensive capability, help deflect sort of physical blows that come towards you. That'd be amazing. Uh, yeah. Equivalent of a plus one enchantment. Ah. Uh, all right, we'll say... That one will cost you about uh, 2,000 gold pieces for the full enchantment. And if I get all, well, eh, if we're trying to get it on a faster enchantment cycle, it'll be a little more expensive. I'll put it at about 2,600 gold, but we can get that done in four days. Uh, that's going to that's gonna be all Pumat's in on that one. You guys all right with that? Like, yeah, we got you. Yeah, <laughs> looking to get my fingers loose. How about you? Yeah, I'm not busy. <laughs> 20, uh, 20, All right, four 20, days. Twenty six hundred gold. Twenty six hundred gold. Four, uh, four days, and we can get that to a nice little defensive capability. I'll take it. Alrighty. <laughs> and uh, yeah, here's actually, and if you can uh, do something about the sheen, I, here I'll just give some papers of, with what I kind of want to do to it to and just sort of goggle cosmetically. Okay, yeah, I can talk to somebody and get some cosmetic changes on there for you. No That's problem. Great. Lickety splickety. <laughs> All right. <laughs> 2600 2600 gold mm. so in four days you'll have that your your armor will now be a plus one which is a bonus to ac mm. and do you happen to have anything only because i'm always curious of the offensive variety weapons or any sort of unfortunately those haven't really come back the weapons were uh keenly plucked from my clutches uh, for the interests of combat. Mm. Um, it's not really a weapon, but I do got something pretty cool here. Mind closing the door? Uh, yes, yes, yes. Good dunk. So, uh, this was actually commissioned and sent off to a member of the assembly who oh. did not pick it up. <gasps> so, uh... You know, these things get lost in the mail all the time. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> I like this side. Mm -hmm. You kind of give like a in the other Pumat Grover and like kind of close the shades a little bit on the on the windows near the front. And he goes to his back room, comes back with this tiny little uh, like polished red wood box. It, it like it glistens and gleams and a little bit of lantern light he has on the counter and sets it down, and opens it up and it has this soft little pillow bed and as you look on the inside, there is this uh, tiny little pink gem, like a rhombus in its shape, and it's just placed on the pillow. I know it doesn't look like much, but these are crafted, not by me, <laughs> but by uh, certain enchanters who follow the Knowing Mistress. This was a piece that had come into my uh, personal holding right before all this went down, and then was taken as part of the agreement with the assembly. So it's referred to as an Ayun Sto. Watch this, and takes it and just kind of lets it go in the air, and you watch as it just slowly begins to orbit his head. <laughs> what does it do? Well, this one in particular is an Ayun Stoto of fortitude. Makes you hardier. Makes you more able to kind of resist the more physically strenuous elements on the body, both exterior and interior. Wow. How much does it cost? Well, it cost me a pretty penny when I got a hold of it. I'll put this at about friend's discount. 5,500 gold. We'll take it. Well then, puts it in the box, closes it, and slides it forward. How do you have that much gold? I don't actually spend a ton of money. 
Four thousand gold. Four thousand gold on a ring. You didn't spend anything else. Yeah. No. Save it for pretty young. I think I know at least one of us that could probably use that. I think you're very, very right. Yeah, me. <laughs> There's actually quite a few of you that could use it. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Pretty good thing. Uh, Fifty-five hundred, with my thanks. All right. Well, it makes me very happy to know that this is going to somebody who will put it to proper use. Always better to, you know, sell the more powerful items to individuals that I know will, you know, not spill too much unnecessary blood with it. No. I guess that goes in my tattoo. <clears throat> Oh, no, I just, I, so many people have gotten tattoos and other things, and I've just sort of been, um, you know, hoarding my money. That's what? great. I've been spending mine on diamonds to help save people's lives. <laughs> <laughs> you are incredibly selfless, and I am just blown away by how sweet and wonderful you are. Thank you. And it's so not, true. it's not just sweet and wonderful, she's used those diamonds to save many of our lives already. That's true. My Several included. times. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> um, Pumat. Yep. If um, uh, I, I had uh, just a question or, or two, if I um, if I wanted okay. another one of those <laughs> flasks, did I get my flask from Pumat? Uh, you had it enchanted by Pumat. Yeah. yeah. If I had another one of those flasks made, um, is that something you could could handle? It's just the hard liquor now. I don't. It doesn't. The taste. I don't like it anymore. I. But something like a nice cherry brandy or a peach schnapps I could get down with. Oh. Just something like a, a little bit of a, a, you know, creme de menthe or something. Oh, is, no. is there is there something that Maybe we like could... a rosé or something. Ooh, a nice cold rosé just yeah. always, always with me. Maybe a little sparkle would be nice. That'll be good in the tundra. Yeah, I could probably pull something like that together. It'll be, uh, you know, all in. I'll pull Matt's in once I finish what I'm doing with you, which is going to consume a lot of my time for Way the next more. four days. Yeah. Put me about a day and a half, two days, I can get that done for you. Oh, great. For how much? Uh, but with all, all in, I can get it under a day. And um, we'll say we'll put that at about uh, 150 with the expedited pricing oh, on that's it. That's cheap. I'll take it. Well, it's not an extreme enchantment. Um, are you providing the particular flask you're looking for, or do you need me to a, find that as well? Uh, I have a really old, shitty one, um, but uh, I'll go get a new one, and, and I'll bring it back to you before day's end. Alrighty, we'll be here waiting. Um, and then also, um, uh, in addition to anything you have suited for cold environments, um, frequently I find myself, uh, I'm very good in one-on-one -on -one situations or against one combatant, but uh, okay. I, I, I don't have anything that really can knock a bunch of people away from me or, or, or get, get me out of a, a group, a, a pylon, a melee sort of a, a chaotic situation. Do you have anything, any scrolls, any potions, any, any enchantments that could either get me away or just knock everybody back? Yeah. Uh. Not, not to that degree at the moment, unfortunately. I can keep an eye out, though. Okay. That's good. Yeah, still limited, unfortunately, with what we got here in the shop. But uh, if anything comes in, I'll let you know. All right. All right. Good to know. No worries. Yeah, bring that flask on by, and I'll go ahead and get that done at the tail end of getting your uh, commission finished. And then, do you have anything for children? <laughs> do a children's <laughs> section yeah, here. Yeah. <laughs> Boy. What's your name, little guy? Oh, I'm still holding him. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Look! <laughs> I've got well, him, you know, in a comfortable hold now, so he's not <laughs> completely uncomfortable. <laughs> well, here, Luke, let's see what we got here. And he kind of walks into the back room with a wink. Supporting his weight. You oh. hear him rummaging around a little bit, and you hear something shift and a chest closed. And he comes out with a smile, and he sets a little ring on the table. Let's see if that fits on your finger right there. It looks like. Can I, can I, can I put it on? Can, can he yeah, of course, it? yes, yeah. yes. <laughs> cool. <laughs> so, uh, just go ahead and flick your finger. And you watch this little, and a little top spills out under the table. <laughs> oh no. Do it again. Licks it, 
another top spills out on the table. <laughs> what? And like all these tops start poof, 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 into a pile, and Puma's like, "Boy, hey, don't don't get a little too hasty there. They only last a short time. But uh, no matter where you are, if you're looking to go ahead and spin something, right there for the. <laughs> How much is that ring? Oh, I'll buy, put you about twenty-five gold. Do you have any more of them? No, that's just the one I got. <laughs> Weirdly enough, not a lot of people want to buy a ring that just makes tops. It's a fidget spinner. <laughs> <laughs> More or less. If they don't want that. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate the support. They don't want that. I, oh. I love it. Yes, we'll take it. How, how much would that run? Uh, 20, 25 gold. Oh, pieces. great, great, great. Real simple enchantment. Thank you, Pumat. That's amazing. Luke, enjoy. Luke's over there going... And it's like... <laughs> there's just a small pile growing. He's like, this is the coolest thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look, and you could probably sell these tops for extra money. Uh, well, the tops, unfortunately, are temporary. They, oh, uh, right. They People won't dissipate. know that until they walk away. Oh, sell it yeah. fast and get out. <laughs> <laughs> I am not engaging in that sort of uh, char charlatanery. What would you call it? <laughs> anyway. Charcuterie, maybe. There we are. Charcuterie. <laughs> Double, double checking. It's just the enchant. It's just the base enchantment on the armor, not the not the the cold cold protection. Correct. I might shift just to cold protection. But that's I'd like yeah. Just just I'll go for straight cold protection without the. Oh, what you don't want the AC? Plus one is good, but I have a funny feeling that the cold protection will will work out better in the long run. Okay. Really? Or at least for now. Is it uh, is it protection against cold damage or just against cold condition? That's actually a good question. Uh, it would be there'd be comparable enchantments. I'd say so. You could choose one or the other. One gives you a plus one bonus to your armor class, period. The other one gives you cold resistance. Uh, oh, in case he's pretty important. I'll take the armor class for it. All right. <laughs> All right. Then we'll go go as intended originally. <laughs> I'm sure it won't come back to bite you in the end. Shopping paralysis. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh, and then before we leave, what? Did we want to nonagon it up with Pumat? That's actually a uh -oh. good question. Sure. Just in case. Pumat, have you ever heard of anything called the Eyes of Nine? Not particularly. Is there like a creature with nine eyes that I need to look out for? Well, no, not that we know of. We came across this creature that gave us a vision of like a floating creepy city that felt like it was alive. That's awful. Yeah, it was <laughs> awful. It was really, really quite a lot. And then it also made us think of the, the, the words Eyes of Nine, right? Yes, or Nonagon, or Lucian, or the... Was it the Task Takers or something? What was it? The Tomb Takers. Tomb takers. <laughs> Telltale. Not really jogging anything in my noggin, unfortunately. That's all right. Sorry. No, no, no. Hey, do you know anything about the city of Aeor? No. Cool, just wondering. Where is Aeor? <laughs> I don't it's know. way north. Oh, I haven't been that far north. I've just spent most of my time here in the Empire, so... Uh, no, neither have we. We have no plans of going there either. We've just heard people tell tales of crazy weather up north. <laughs> yeah, here it's pretty chilly. It is. There's yeah. no yeah. intention of going there. No, Absolutely not. not. Why would we uh, go there? Yeah, me yeah. too. Yeah, it needs to get all clammy. I know it's got the little layer of fur supposed to keep you warm, but <laughs> I'm already cooled out here in this side yeah. of the Marrow Valley. Hmm? Can't imagine getting all snowed up, you know? Ridiculous. <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> well, is there anything else I can help you with? Um... Oh, we should buy that stone giant potion. I mean... Or I'll buy it if... I don't know. Do you think Caleb would like that? Someone could use it. Caleb would probably like that potion of haste. Yasha could use it. It's a plus two, right? <laughs> yeah. He does. <laughs> but the, That's the Iron Stone of Fortitude, right? Correct. Like Holy fuck. Yeah, it's a plus two. Look what we got plus. you. A one time. Oh, and an AC expensive. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. I don't when know. I mean, that's it. a yep. potion is oh such a short God. use. And we the have stone. strong people in the party already. Yeah, but if, for instance, one of our not strong people had it, it could maybe get them out of a jam or something. That's true. Plus, we got money to burn. I don't have any money left. I got I'm money to burn. Oh already. Unless you have anything worth 500 gold or less that's really cool. Do you, Pumat? Well, here, well, the, look, the stone just, has an AC. I'll stone. give you money. Stone, yeah. No. I have money money if you want something. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, sorry, what was your question? Do you have anything cool worth 500 gold or less? 
Um... <laughs> Gift certificate, maybe? I mean, you, you kind of... If you're buying those potions as well, you're clearing me out at the moment. Okay, yeah, that's what I figured. Sorry. No, it's hey, fine. I, I do have some viewers out for some things that may return by the end of the week with uh, everything that's coming back from the front line. So maybe I'll have something before you're leaving. Oh yeah, we'll check back in when we pick up the, our stuff. Pick up the flask and the and the armor. Yep, I'll keep an eye out for anything that's uh, in that range you're looking for. Sounds good. Alrighty. I'll take that stone giant potion. Alrighty, here you go. Here's how the snaps work, and you just kind of hold it, and it gives you like a whole overview of the really simple apparatus that does not need an explanation. But he's thorough. Great. All right, let's get out of here. Well, oh, it's shit. a pleasure we to see your lovely faces. Uh, say bye, Pumat. They're like, bye, bye. Good to see you. Bye, Pumat. Bye. Bye, Pumat. Bye. 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 Oh, good seeing you. <laughs> good seeing you, too. Good to see you. Yeah, it's good to see you, isn't it? Bye. Yeah, you're telling me. All right, well, have a good day. Oh, you too. Yeah, you too, also. Oh, hey. oh thank you, buddy. You too. All right. Oh, look, it's so nice. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to send a message to Pumat. Hi. If we need to leave super fast, how quick could you get Caduceus's armor done? Like, a day? How much would it be? And my flask! And flask! <laughs> I just smile awkwardly at Durogna while she talks to the air. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a, that's a tall order there. It's not like I can just rush it, you know? Things take time. Sorry. <laughs> He's not, he's not being very helpful. He says things take funny time. funny feeling. These things are just... They take time. Well, we could just skip the armor and go. We should threaten him. Let's That's threaten Puma. Big difference Wait, the, the, in my reality. Yeah. You'll be fine. The, the armor will be ready then? When? Like two 48 more days. hours. 48 hours. You yes. can't take nine Pumats and make a wrist <laughs> <bleed>. Exactly. <laughs> There's a five-point drop in my AC. Yeah. So. yeah. I feel like we need... It's a five-point drop? Yep. Wow. Oh. Yeah. Shit. There's a reason. There's a reason I did this. Oh, shit. Yeah, I was going to give you my armor, but that's not nearly five points. No. Holy shit. I think we should get the armor. You're our only healer. <laughs> oh, 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 the salt. <laughs> it's true. It's true, Caduceus. <laughs> well, maybe we can go down there and maybe a little bit of money will change his mind. <laughs> it's okay. uh, is there a problem with uh, this commission you made? Just gonna take a couple days. That's all. Forty-eight hours. They're just a little bit slow. You know what I mean. Well, who have you commissioned, Focus? Pumat Soul <laughs> from the Invernal Rope in Vlom Blankert. Yeah, she's familiar. <laughs> have you worked with him? <clears throat> uh, on a couple of occasions, yes. He does quite a bit of work way. for the um, Cerberus Assembly. I'll speak to him. See if I can expedite this process. Yo, oh, Pumat's oh. dead. Hi. <laughs> Wait, be nice to him though, okay? Because he's been really nice to us. Of course. Okay. Uh oh. So by tomorrow? Oh, oh. oh based I do not quite know exactly what it is he's working on for you, but if I inquire, I will have some better information and perhaps a means of expediting this. <clears throat> to Pumat. To Pumat. To poo. <laughs> you guys make your way to the uh, Penta Market, to the exterior of Pumat's shop. Uh, the door is currently closed, and you, it does not appear to be the same kind of open, welcome interior uh, or presentation that the shop normally does. It looks like it is, it is intentionally closed and shut. Oh. It's working very hard, I would assume, on our items. Should we knock? Yes, of course. Yeah, let's start with that. Okay. You hear some shuffling, and eventually a voice goes, Uh, whoa? Aww. Uh, yeah, Pumat, it is the Mighty Nine. Are you all right? Right, now? right, yeah. Uh, come on in. Oh, no. You hear <laughs> the door opens, and Pumat standing there, um, big dart circles under his eyes. Oh, well, uh, just, uh, could you give us just like 20 more minutes, if you don't mind? We're real close. Oh, oh yeah. I, again, I'm I'm so sorry. That 
entirely happened by accident. We just had the wrong conversation in front of the wrong people. And oh, God. Oh, don't, don't apologize. I had no idea that this was uh, under uh, assembly uh, specific intent. Uh, if next time, if, if the contract falls under uh, uh, an assembly member, please do not hesitate to let me know. Uh, there is a, a, a different spectrum of timelines under there and uh, would save me a lot of trouble. Definitely apologize for that. Pay, pay attention to that next time. This is definitely on me. Hey, Good to know. Greatly appreciate it. Oh. All right, just uh, 20 minutes. Come on by. All right. All right. <laughs> she closes the door again. Oh, oh wow. Well, that's well, that, good to know. Yeah, it's great. Mm. Oh. Yeah, well, maybe not take advantage of that again in the future. No. But, 20 minutes of wandering the Penta Market. There are numerous baked goods, snacks, mm. small trinkets that can be picked up. It is an open market. Uh, buy a lot of stuff and just put it in my bag so I have it for the trip. Okay, what kind of Lots stuff? Lots of baked happiness. Baked happiness, you got it. <laughs> Plenty of baked happiness purchase. We'll say put about a five gold of baked happiness, which is a lot. Wow. That is a lot. A lot. You are, your, your, uh, your little haversack is definitely a, a, a plump full of happiness. Okay. Um, but you come back, the door is now uh, unlocked, though it is still closed. And as you enter the establishment, you can see the interior lanterns are lit. Uh, Pumat Prime is sitting at the desk. He has a, a, a damp cloth pressed against his forehead, and he's just kind of wiping his brow. And the other Pumats are sitting in, in stools, just kind of breathing heavily. And uh, you see, walking around the corner, Lady Vesta Rugna. <gasps> Ah, I see you have arrived to pick up your specific object. Well, we have managed to complete it. Expedited, with a bit of aid. You helped? I did indeed, otherwise it would not have gotten done. Wow. Hey. Present it, Pumat. Oh, yeah, of course, sorry. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Ready for you, I got your, uh, if you could, if you don't mind there, uh, Pumat. It's like, yeah, yeah, I'll be right back. Um, <laughs> Uh, and he goes around the corner and comes back and <laughs> sets the finished breastplate onto the table. Uh, it looks beautiful, and it, it even feels almost slightly lighter. Uh, the sheen and shimmer is there as, as your initial requested uh, uh, coloration was presented on it. Uh, and you can see there are a number of additional new runes that are just faintly pressed into certain areas where the metal plates meet to even further reinforce uh, the the magical protection that it infers. So, whereas previously it was just a... It wasn't uh, nothing. It was now a breastplate plus... Homemade. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, it's now a... Breastplate plus one. All right. Amazing. This is a... Uh, I really appreciate it. I yeah, really do. Respectfully, my pleasure. Happy to do uh, whatever we can to, to help the interests of the Empire and the Cerberus Assembly. Lady Vesco's, of course, and uh, your uh, hard work, as always, will be remembered. Thank you, Pumat Sol. Ah, yeah, no, it's our pleasure, Miss Lady. Uh, <laughs> and uh, good luck wherever you're going, in a hurry. Thank you, Pumat. I, thank you. Thank I, you. I you, put down mm. 500 more gold <gasps> onto the counter for him. Boy, I, you really don't have to do that. Respectfully, uh, to, you know, you've already paid for the piece and... Respectfully, we requested a rush order, not the original conditions. Please, it's our pleasure. Well, that's uh, it's very kind of you there, Miss Beauregard. I really appreciate it. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Say that one more time. It's greatly appreciated. Nope, the thing you said before that? Miss Beauregard. The thing you said before that? I don't remember. Fuck! <laughs> it's greatly appreciated. It's very yeah. kind of you. Yeah. <laughs> very kind. It was very kind of you, Miss Beauregard. Greatly appreciated. It was very kind of you. Yeah. It's greatly yeah. appreciated. It's a big, it's big step good. for you both. Yeah, Perhaps you should take a nap good. now. I think kind of. that's a good plan. Uh, it's, if you don't mind, if you I got it. Don't worry. And one yeah. of the clones walks the over. The rose and flask. You didn't. You didn't happen to. Never mind. No, we, we can go without it. It's fine. Oh, do we have to rush the flask no, too? No, 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 that's not, that's less important, I <laughs> We can get that in about an hour. No, no, it's fine. If you're helping. It's fine. What is this enchantment you're talking about? Uh, well, they had, they had ordered a, 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 a flask that essentially is bottomless alcoholic content. 
And do you, this is important for our endeavors? I mean, yes, it's nice. Yes, but, but no, 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 we don't. We, we don't. Make I don't want to do any more work. No, no Pumat work. No. Well, just drop five hundo. Sixteen. Any of us goes. They say it's important. Oh it's, God! Alrighty. Uh, yeah, just uh, let them out. We'll lock behind and uh, give us about an hour or so. We can knock this out. I don't need it. We don't need it. I'm canceling the order. You, you, you've already paid it. But, uh, <laughs> I'll get it. I'll get it. A layaway. I'll get it. I'll come back in a month. It's fine. You sure? I'm positive. I don't want you to do any more work. Okay then. Uh, well, we'll uh, we'll continue this one on its uh, usual schedule. It should be ready within the next uh, day or two. Great. So just swing on by. Thank you. Alrighty. <laughs> As you guys kind of all begin to leave, you hear a whew behind you as you leave. 